man, what a podcast that was just recorded. You guys are going to love it. With Inside This Podcast, we talked about our team of five different characters from TV shows or movies. One of them could either be a villain or superhero. We would use this team of characters to defeat Thanos. We talked about the rules on airplanes, about certain sizes of people. We talked about the food industry. I even brought up a proven CIA document that I found on CIA.gov about a 1991 alien attack in Siberia that nobody has heard about. You guys, this was so crazy, such a crazy story. I wrote over the entire document on the podcast. Really gives you the shivers. You guys are going to absolutely love this podcast. As always, shout out to Flavor Gang, Bashmouth Subs, and Hostile Subs. Use code D2 at Bashmouth Subs and the Flavor Gang, and use code Nick10 at All Hostile Subs. You guys, I think you're going to really love this episode. Welcome to the show. I got to like sit the fuck up when Nick sits next to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, tight, tight. <laughs> well, welcome back to the D2 podcast. Around the table, we got Zach Blachek, Nick Justice, Lance Hefner, myself, Zach Devo, and we got huge news, boys. Holy saucy news. Let them let let have it. Yeah, what is it? What's so, the news? The Flavor Gang and uh, the D2 podcast. Uh, we got a little, we got together. We got uh, a little business relationship, <laughs> Ross, if you, if you, you will. Yeah, yeah so code D2 gets you uh, 10% off uh, at checkout on all their products. So they got like the new cookie dough. They got bowl gains. They got all their sauces. They got their prep donuts or yeah, they're uh, di- yeah. Diet donuts. Donuts. Diet yeah. donuts. Yeah. Diet donuts. They yeah. got spices. They got coffee. If you muffins, have everything. munchies, go there. Because yeah. even chicken and rice can be a munchy meal. Also. Oh, yeah. 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 If tough. you're a body. Because if you put these sauces on a plain ass chicken and rice meal, even if you just mm. are just eating it with ketchup or something, dude, this yeah. is going to change yeah. the way you taste and this, diet food. And and this look, which is considered, which is just healthy food. And this cookie dough, too. I am so excited. Yeah. So for, pumped. For what, that. Flavors, what flavors are we getting? Uh, he, all he three. Didn't say. He all just three. said he sent oh, six of them. I'm pretty sure. We, oh, yeah. Yeah. six of them. Well, six six containers of it. So I don't know if it's the different flavors. We'll see when it gets I ordered three. I don't even know what flavors i ordered but yeah. i ordered three flavors of the cookie dough too nice so we but can dude, try them all i was like talking to uh or no what was it i think it was the video ross um released but the the edible cookie dough is not like jam-packed with sweeteners and all no. this crazy shit that's gonna like make you feel like crap too yeah. and it's yeah. way less calories like, yeah. dude he yeah. is a magician with this shit yeah i we look forward to your meals when we gotta you have their products like we gotta try the the donuts too <laughs> hey hey but if the code d2 is used enough Ooh, i'm sure yeah. that they're gonna Ooh. have us make our own donut flavor so fucking use them god damn it and then Monster and then there. don't forget about the ogs we bash, got bash, bash, mouth, bash, bash mouth, the and true ho- homies, and don't, hostile subs, yep, and hostile. So don't forget about them. Code D two with them too. What's <sighs> going on, boys? Hello. How's so I, had, I had a great week. How's yeah. Everyone yeah. Doing? yeah, I think it was a good week. Ian yeah. Bellier retired this week. Sad, oh, that's good, really sad, sad, but good for him. Yeah, because he seems like he's pretty yeah. happy. Go have them kids, kids. Did you see what he looks like now? He's peeled. Like yeah, he really. What? Took he's him like two days. He's gonna be fucking shredded. shredded. He like, looks like he's like 20, 30 pounds lighter, but like he said, he still... wants to get back into running and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, he's running? an athlete, dude. He's yeah, an my athlete. knees automatically hurt oh, when I heard him say yeah. that. When I heard him say that, dude, I'm automatically starting to get achy. Yeah. I feel like he could be a mean tight end. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. No, <laughs> I'd put him on the D line. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's too short. Too short. For sure. For sure. I don't even think he can play that. What else happened this week? What do we got? Um, dude. What else? Actually, Ooh. wait, 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 wait. Oh, you got hype too. Yeah. That, <laughs> now I feel bad. I was going to say, let's, let's, oh, yeah. let's open Rise yep, so we can sip on it while we catch up. Uh, today we got Rise Fuel Rainbow yep. Sherbert. Um, we love these Rise flavors. I don't know, boys. Maybe they could uh, toss us a couple too, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There's probably Maybe. so Only listening. energy drinks, though, not the supplements. Oh, wow. <laughs> Only the energy drinks. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Yeah, they do a nice job. Holy fuck. Uh, that's, that's good, as good as fuck. As shit. I love this. This is... Wow. Bro, this is probably one of the horniest flavors we've tried. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. That's Rainbow <laughs> Sherbert. What the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is good. Yo, Rise nailed this. This Damn. Is awesome. I love Someone this. Someone toss a score out there. I need to This know. is like a 9-3 for me. 9-5 for me. Yeah. Yeah, nine big four. time nine five. This is nine accurate. Four. This is accurate. Dude, how do they do this? So Zero ca- sugar. People. So many cancer ca- for sure. So many ca- cancer, cancer for love sure. Oh, dog. Say hey, that. <laughs> give me more if that's what they taste. Holy like. yep. shit! If this is cancer, no. give me more. Now I know why there's gut health problems across the board. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. these are fine. One a day, you're good. But <laughs> bro, th- this right here would be a prep <laughs> fucking dessert. Oh, oh yeah. my god! Oh, yeah. I'd have a problem with these. Yeah, Dude, me too. Imagine giving these up. 
Oh, fuck. fuck in the last four weeks dude, when i sneak in a couple my of peak week i had half an energy drink and i told i freaked out on cam I was like dude i fucking cheated i screwed up the sodium that we were dialed in because it had like two three hundred milligrams I did not of sodium prep good i had energy drinks till like three days out <laughs> yeah and you were going you were no and, and also you 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 were told hey get a cheat meal you would splurge the whole day you motherfucker it would be the whole day it would be like maybe an hour Hey Zach, get three rolls. Maybe of, an hey, hour. Hey, get three rolls of sushi. Oh, and a pizza. Goes, I'm okay, s- I'm still eating my meal. I'm still eating. Meal. It just doesn't have any time in between. <laughs> It'd be fine though. I'd lose two pounds the next day. I'm excited for your you prep with Cam. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> all that oh, um, DMT. we were talking about Ian Valera, but dude, Regan and Blessing. How that? Go? Oh yeah, I, I don't know. It's photos. today because yeah. they're, they're, they're overseas in Italy, Shout so they're day, oh, day behind wow. us. Shout yeah. out to Cam and Blessing, bro, bro boys. Dude, I'm so dude, excited. If, I'm going Regan though. I think Regan has it, but dude, I'm telling you. What about Noah? I wouldn't Noah, be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised um, if Blessing wins today. Noah's the other. Is it Noah or who's the other guy? The other, the third guy that's at the show. I think it's. Oh no! Oh oh, Nathan Diasha. Nathan, Nathan. Nathan Diasha. Yeah. Nathan. Roman. Roman. No, Roman's not gonna be big no. enough. Roman Fritz. He's no, not gonna he's be big enough. He's no. fourth. But oh, Nathan. Yeah. No, I mean he might get fifth. Bro. Got the Nathan's shape. Huge. Yeah. 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 And he hasn't competed in a while. Two years. Yeah. yeah so he has him and small They're both tall. It's wild. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if Blessing wins today, though, if he comes in hard enough. If if Regan's washed it's, it's out, it's anybody's game. I was gonna say because I think Regan's legs are gonna be better, but Blessing's back is just off. So he's got such crazy shape. You crazy. guys, you guys were very. So Im- you guys were at least like, not. I don't know if I want. I would want to say impressed, but you guys, when we saw Blessing at Chicago, you were like, "Holy fuck, he's huge!" Well, he's just huge. Yes, he's just so this huge. is this here is the way absolute better. best he's ever looked in his entire bodybuilding career. By far, and like, dude. And the thing is, Cam just took it over like yeah. three weeks ago. Yeah, not even. He's responding and I'm like, fast, he goes, bro. If, he goes, listen here. Pump. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> this is yeah. this is what's gonna happen. And Nick yeah. Loff is doing his training. I'm pretty sure. Like, dude. The only thing is, Dude, I think Regan's becoming. legs are so much better than Blessings. It's yeah. going to be hard to yes. fight that. Because Regan's is like But if Regan comes in washed or just not as sharp, they're going to, I think they're going to reward I bet Milos yeah. nails it, though. He really like took his Mil- time. Milos is getting a lot better with his. Yeah, yeah. he took his offseason season. Dude, they started serious. talking about Regan Grimes and the original um, uh, Iron... What the Netflix Iron. Generation Iron. Generation, Generation Iron. Yeah, His shape yeah. is just That insane. was years and years and Bro, years ago. That was ago. 2012. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, no, no, no. And we're Maybe still 15. like waiting on him. Like, yeah. come on, kid. Well, dude, he's, did you know? Okay, uh, do you guys know about Regan? That he went from classic to open. Yep. And then he went from open to classic. Yep. It's just so much okay. time. Yeah. And then he was Wasted. like, fuck this. And he went right back to open. Wasted his time. Yeah, dude. But yeah. dude, the thing is, man, I am very confident. I think Regan is going to be a Mr. Olympia one day. Mm-mm. Not reigning. Dude, better no. chances. Nick Walker or uh, Dude, Regan. I think Derek Lunsford, Lunsford's going to win it for like the next five years. Nick Walker or Regan? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, Nick Walker or, or Regan for Nick most Walker. potential. Bullshit. Nick for Walker. potential? Like, well, potential. Nick's already yeah. there, oh, though. Regan, but Regan if you're isn't. talking now, I mean, Nick That's why I said potential. What is Nick, 26? Well, I know, but like Regan's yeah. been here for a he's minute. He's 26, right? Yeah, but yeah. he's also never nailed his he's look. Got Nick's, so Nick, we know long. what Nick looks like. We know Nick has came in consistent every single time. Nick looks amazing. Matt does an amazing job with him. Regan is still teeter-tottering on the edge like, what is his prime look? What? Can, where can he stack up? Now, this is the biggest show like for Regan because where is he going to stack up with Olympia caliber guys? Because that's who he's going against. Okay, and then from there we're going to be like, yo, he, we're going to see where he fits in that top ten. If he blows him out of the water, he's shaking up the Olympia. Exactly. So quickly. I was oh say, my because god! Because you got to think now, like it's like the same thing with Blessing, right? Like Blessing's finally working with a coach exactly. of that level, and you saw Regan really mature when he made the decision Regan to go can. to Milos. Well, he's Regan's been with Milos for, for like. like Two years, right? Two or three, yeah. But that's what I'm saying, though, is yeah. when he got with him, I think Milos looked at him and was like, if you really want to do well, we got to yeah. like, put some size exactly, on. Because exactly. his structure has always been wild. It might be longer than that, because I remember Milos in videos back when I was in college, like sophomore, freshman year. Really? I think it's been so two I think, years. It I think been he's been longer. with Milos for a while, maybe. But I think Milos has really learned his body better and just kept... Yeah. Keep, I mean, he wasn't the best for a while coming in, but he he's been consistently getting better but he's definitely not hit that 100 percent yet i feel like it's always been a size and conditioning issue yeah the oh structure, for sure the structure for sure is, that's why he's been on movies you know i think in the this because he's i don't wild. think this yeah. is the biggest regan we'll see either no, no fuck no, no. what is he 27 28 no he's 30 yeah he's, i think so he's still got what 10 years he start Damn. 10 12 years a long time ago yeah he so started he back been young yeah. i remember watching him saying. in generation iron when i was in high school bro that's what i was saying it because i i i re-watched that like I don't know, a month or two ago. Not and I was like, damn, that's Regan. How old is he's uh, so young? How old is Samson? Oh, he's young too. I think no, he's, he's in his 30s. 38. 38, I thought. 
He's I old. think he's younger than 38. I, I want to look that up actually. Ask him. Let's say you never <laughs> asked him. Hey, buddy. That would be my <laughs> first question for all those big dudes. I, that was always like my curiosity. You think you're on how, because you know, like you, all thi- of them look so old. Besides yeah. Derek was, and Nick, I was going like, to say some really of them the look two young. Two babies on stage. Well, Nick now looks the old. new generation. You think he looks well. old? I still think he looks. Ian really looks young, old. Yeah. Ian looks old. Ian looks old for thirty-three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Here we go. Samson Douda age. Um. 38, 36? Dude, he's 31. No oh, way. Bro, July 12, 2023. <laughs> Dog. Samson Dowda th- is 31 years I old. I thought someone said he was old. What the fuck? Dude, I thought he was too. That ain't old. He's He's huge. young. He's got plenty of time. Oh, yeah. That's, that's My scary. mom calls me that's, every pocket. That's five, that's five Olympians. That's five O's. Jesus Christ. That's five O's. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah, no, no one has any chance. No. Derek Lunsford has a chance. Derek Lunsford could win every year yeah. if he wanted. Oh, yeah, man. That's going to be, the, that's so gonna be like the battle for the next couple of years is Dude, Samson and Derek. Connie's just going to have gonna the beat him every time, I feel like. Yeah. Olympia's. Yeah. Just give Dude, it to the, him. Oh, dude. That's crazy. I love, <laughs> love that, man. What do you think makes that, though? Do you think, obviously, like the coach and athlete are both going to make an Olympia, but like. Correct. Which one do you think has a bigger role in getting that title? I the coach both, or the both, athlete? Both. I think that's an even trade off. I, I think, think well, people, that's people why he only takes coach. on superstars. But I'm, but you see people that have like Olympia caliber caliber physiques, but they don't win. Why? Because they're not in shape. Right. You know what I mean? But so you also like, can't do it without But that's also yeah. a you can't hit. also that's do also... it without the physique, yes. Yeah. But it's also like do you get the right coach and then where do you go from there? Like say I don't know. Say Regan hires Hani or any That'd be top sick. coach. You I'd know, be so can about that. can mm-hmm. Hani get him to that Olympia physique? Because he took a two twelve guy and got him second. Yeah, I still think it's a. I think it's you know, an even trade in a off year. though. In a year, I think in people. This is how like, I think of it. I think I a hundred percent agree with what you're saying. I think the 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 generalized fan of bodybuilding doesn't realize the importance of what. A coach is at any level Mm -hmm. and i think that they're like i think a lot of people probably think oh ian was chris bumstead's old coach oh they just trained together i bet that's what people think like people don't really realize what the fuck goes in from to the coaching aspect of not just only creating a winning standard physique at any level but what goes into a winning standard physique or a top 16 physique of the entire fucking world at a coaching level like i think people don't realize like what hani's job is yeah you know like Dude, Dude Hani sleep. speaks multiple languages because of all of his athletes. Yeah. Bro, yeah. like, who the fuck's out there <laughs> really? speaking yeah. Farsi yeah. for Hani his athletes? Because speak English. Yeah, he, so, yeah. so Hani speaks Farsi. Yeah. yeah. Have you, yeah. you didn't watch the training video with Sebum and... Hadi with Hadi and Hani was there. Crazy. He would talk to Hadi and then he would talk to Sebum. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Dude, it's so sick. That's yeah. But so, yeah. I, but also, I think that's just one of the reasons. But I think you know, what, let's say an athlete does good or bad on stage. I think the generalized uh, fan of bodybuilding doesn't like they blame the athlete right away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think like, oh, he looked terrible. He shouldn't have you know done whatever he did. You know, but people don't realize like the coach is also responsible for a win and a loss because. Yeah. There's still like anything can happen. They're still learning somebody's body. The bad reaction happens. Something's timed out like poorly. So like the, the coach and the athlete kind of get shit on quite a bit. Yeah. Because they're like they expect everybody to be 100 percent all the time. And it's not that way. Yeah. 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 Because like, dude, even Chris Bumstead looks amazing and he's the fucking best classic physique there's been. Like there's you can tell when there's years where he hasn't nailed it. Yeah. And he's still won. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 100%. Yeah. So 100 percent. Anyway, because it still gets better. He yeah. can't gain any size, right? And he's right. still getting better somehow. So that just means they're True. coming in crazier and crazier. Dude, the kid weight gap for classic this year is the increase is nuts. Yeah, I think bro, Chris is that's going to be huge. insane. I think Chris is going to be. They the gave him fuck this year. They, they gave him more. They're just trying. They're doing it all to just to keep get him. him <laughs> to get him to stay. Yeah. They're like, we're gonna push yeah. him to open. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> we need the people coming. Like, yeah. bodybuilding's never been bigger because never, of him. Never. Do you think it's just so? Do you think Chris Bumstead retires after this Olympia? No, he, it, it may speed up with Ian. We talked about that. It for sure. Because Courtney's going to look at him and be like, yeah. I, I want kids too. 
Uh, well, that and they're financially set. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. For yeah, life. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at, at this point, it's just up to him on whether or not his body feels good. I think yeah, you're gonna. Michael Jordan. I think you're gonna see it like an in-season type thing. I think there's gonna be one prep where he's just like, I'm not in love with this anymore. Dude, honestly, think about it. it. He doesn't have to do bodybuilding at all. all year. Like he really only does bodybuilding for like three, four months. Yeah. You don't think he's training hard? He's probably doing all faces. He literally can't. says it. He, he he goes for pump workouts. He trains like three, four days a week because yeah. he can't grow, bro. He can't grow anymore. Like he purposely can't. But and you can see when he trains when with Hani that they still train hard. At Christmas, so when he just decides to, to switch it on, it's just immaculate. Oh yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's for Chris Bumstead the off it's not the fair. off season. It's not fair because he can't get any bigger. Sport. The off season for somebody that is like right under or at their weight cap is all about uh, physique refinement in the off season. Yeah. You know, it's like. Training, there's even a different type of training when you're at that level where you've hit that weight cap where a lot of your training is going to really be focused on, I hate to say it, but it's going to be focused on detail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like there's different training techniques. Like you see it in how Hani trains his athletes where it's a lot of the high volume pump, not taxing the central wow that you fucking red lighted that thing. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. This tastes really good. It tastes like cinnamon. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh, I love shit. that. Taste that shit. Dude, he is gonna be ripped. Dude, that thing hits like a train dog. <laughs> he just looks at the camera. Dude, yeah. that thing hits like a train. Ooh. See you later. Yeah, she's yeah. sweet, right? That is. That is very we got sweet. that from when we went to. Uh, <coughs> that's the one of uh, the carts that we got. Oh, really? Yeah, we went to the competition. <laughs> oh, no, <nice>. it's <laughs> all bad. Let's go. <laughs> watching Zach at Hayes, like, bro. <laughs> like, when I hit that bong the one time, I was like, yeah. oh, fuck. Just got jabbed in the face. But... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, sweet. But anyway, dude, there's a lot of exciting shit going on in bodybuilding. Bro, yeah. boys, the Olympia. I'm going to the Olympia. Are you going to the Olympia, right? Yeah, I'm going to the Olympia. <sighs> bro, you better rake in a shit guys, ton of sales on, your guys, first yeah, month of this did new you job. Guys, uh, did you guys start buying stuff yet? I've been looking at prices for Airbnb. Is not gonna lie. Okay, and they're they're still pretty cheap. Let's start throwing some prices out. All right, bet. Yeah, Lance, you're going, man. Lance, gotta, you're going. We're gonna get some clients. Lance, you got it. Lance, Lance, get get five clients. Or wait, how many weeks is? Oh, the Olympia, Olympia is ten ten out. No, no, no. Uh, twelve out. Okay, so I have PT. one client. How every, many? One when are client, we leaving? One when client leaving? every week. Oh. Mm. When would we be leaving, and when would we be? Coming be back? We would be back. We would be there for the entire week. Like when, I don't want to go there for three days. When does it start? Um, November. Like what? Like no. Like what day of the week? Oh, I'm probably a weekend. Right What's that? Probably a weekend. I think. Oh. I think this shows on Friday, Saturday. We'll probably be like. Oh, what, what if we went like Wednesday? Through? If we could leave like Wednesday to Tuesday. Wednesday to no. Sunday. The longer you're there, the Wednesday, cra- Thursday, Friday. Bro, we're or gonna Thursday, how about we're gonna train it crazy? It's in Orlando. Oh, fuck. That's right. Yeah, it's not Vegas. Wanna, we're just gonna go yeah. to I fucking hate Iron that. Religion. Damn, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. Hey, if we like go, Thursday can we please go to Harry Sunday. Potter World? Yeah. See, that's <laughs> what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I want to go out there. I want expensive. I want to do some like other shit out there too, besides <laughs> body. I don't want. Stuff. It'd be nice to go back. We didn't get to do it last. I've never seen Harry Potter. I'm in. I'm in. Dude, you know how fucking fun that would be to rip some mushrooms, throw on some capes, and run around fucking Orlando. We'd have to go back to our cookie spot too. Yes. Oh, yeah. That'd be so fun. Take Gideon's, some shrooms, bro. Yeah. <sighs> You've had it since. That's wild. Yeah. God, dude. I brought, I brought you guys yeah. the stale ass cookie. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> lo- we lost all the footage, remember? Yeah. It's oh, sad. fuck. R.I.P. Dude. Yeah. We have to go to Harry Potter World and record it. <laughs> bro, why is Mark Wahlberg on the fucking Olympia? Because <laughs> he, like, nice. endorses it. Mark's oh, for a muscle endorsement. Yeah. Oh, oh, it was one year he, like, What's promoted his, it. He's his protein is, like, performance something. Performance I wish bodybuilding was bigger, dude. Dog, he works yeah. out in NFL receiver gloves, though. Yeah, hey, it's November tough. 3rd. It's tough to watch. <laughs> he yeah, puts dude. them on. He's like, bro, we're going to get it for he him. He wears Nike football gloves. and Does he'll he just have the be logo? Like, bro, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to profile real hard here, but there's always one group of people that always wears the gloves in the gym. I don't know what it is. You know what like, I'm saying? That? You don't what want do you mean? Calluses? They want their soft ass hands. Yeah, know? I don't no. want like soft I look hands. and I look. I walk in any gym. And and I'm any like, I bet that person fit. wears gloves, and there's then I see them wearing gloves in their training. I'm experience like, fitness. Yep. There's no experience oh, yeah. fitness was gloves. It was gloves. <laughs> yeah. Gloves yeah. central. There's and no beneficial. It'd be like a bunch of like like points women with the the finger cut off ones too, and it's like, yo. oh my god, dude, I felt bad. I actually had a Christmas one year when my sister was dating this guy a few years back, and he heard like he got gifts for everyone, and he was like, "What's Lance into?" And he's like, "Oh." And my sister was like, he's into lifting. So I open up the gift, and it was Ronnie Coleman's Bro. face just T-bar rowing. Yep. And it was those yep. fucking, like, yep. Carhartt-style leather gloves. And I looked at him. He's like, try them on, dude. 
And I oh put him on at Christmas, and I was like, yeah, I'm totally going to use Lance. these. Dude, I threw him out as soon as he left. The night. Oh, my God. I threw him out. I felt bad. Dude, he paid. dude they were like same. $34, same. and I threw him out. I threw him out. I feel my brother gave me that gift one time for Christmas, and I was on prep. Oh. And so I literally, in my mind, I'm That's like, family. I'm not going to use these. And I fucking, I felt so bad because I told it to him right there. Yeah. And I, I was going to say, prep like, me would have been like, what the yeah, fuck is and then, this? And then I fucking felt so bad after because my mom was like, Nicholas, like, he really thought you'd use that. I'm like... I'm sorry. Like he probably just didn't know, but I'm not going to use those no, at all. Never. I, I still have them to this day. <laughs> like I said, they're in the package in my room at home. Yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. Can't wait. Crazy. Comes around, you wearing them? <laughs> I'm still wearing them. Yeah. I wear them when I'm driving and shit. I like them a lot. I don't. Oh that's, man, those are the people that didn't lift in high school football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. High school football teaches you how to be a man in the gym. <laughs> I had the worst. Yeah. Well, if you wear them, you're going to get ripped on. Like that's what I'm hell. saying. That's what I'm saying. The people that wear them didn't play football in yeah. high school and like lift with their team. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If they did, they would know gloves are no goes. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason it's acceptable by the one human that did it was because he was the greatest bodybuilder of all time. Yeah. 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 Hey, one of those gloves he turns and you're just like, oh, <laughs> oh never mind. Oh, no, they're pretty sick. Oh, he's like, no, man. I'm going to go in climb bench press 545. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the video of him you're grabbing. You're just like, all right, fine, wear whatever you want. 200 you pound dumbbells and just. He, and and yeah. If he was wearing fucking mittens, you'd be like, that's impressive. Bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking <laughs> sick. Yeah. I love mittens. It is chilly in here. Keeps your fingers warm <laughs> and you're in arlington texas <laughs> Just it's 100 degrees yeah. <laughs> that guy's God. legendary oh man dude good shit yeah crazy to see oh man dude you know how in last podcast we were kind of talking about um a cabin and stuff yeah yeah so i kind of came up with a question for everybody um so we're gonna have four different places mm-hmm. okay so if you could have one full-time house where you're living in there full-time year-round okay one cabin a separate piece of land, not on your cabin, but with a mobile home on it, and a boat ported anywhere for you, what location would each of these be at? Bro, so like, where would you want to have your full-time Ooh. house, your cabin, your plot of land with a mobile home on it? Should we go one at a time in each category? One at a time? Dude, oh, I, 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 yeah, I think so, too. So Let's start with the ocean one. <laughs> Wait, what do you Let's mean ocean with, one? The boat. The boat <laughs> one. Oh, you're choosing the ocean. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. <laughs> Start with the ocean. I love one. that you knew. <laughs> um, Translated for it. Oh, I sure goes, did. I want ocean. Like, oh, <laughs> goes, oh, Zach's talking, boys. Talk about the boathouse. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like brick, bro. When they trans- <laughs> when they translate for brick, you know. Yeah, I was watching the. I Anchorman love ocean. the other day. I was watching it, and it, it reminds us. It reminds me of all of us. So yeah, dude. Much. It's such an accurate so representation. So accurate. We have it's to. So accurate. We have to. Can we? If we all get together it's for it, so I don't know funny. if we will, but we have to do a hot. Halloween episode. Oh yeah, in the suits for the oh, pod. Yeah. Wait, you know what, dude? Another yeah. show that One relates episode. to all of us. Another show that relates to all of us is um, Trailer Park Boys. Oh, I, can I didn't do bubbles watch it. like a motherfucker. He's bubbles, bubbles bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's one hundred percent bubbles. That he's, bubbles. <laughs> he's the fucker. That's like I saw a clip from Bubbles. He's like. Yeah, I just want to look after all the cats in the park that nobody gives a shit. But look at this fucker. It's a good-looking cat. Dude. You know, it's like... I'd get into house parties doing his impressions. Oh, oh God. really? Yeah. That's funny. Because I have the glasses. Oh, true. Yep, yeah, because yep, yep, he's yep. got the big fucking goggles on his face. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, get, getting back on top of here, that's so geek. Okay, so if I was to pick one full-time house, my full-time house, shit, dude, anywhere in the world... Would probably I, that's so hard, dude. That's dude. really no hard. Idea. What do you got? We're on the fly. We got to think quick. Okay, oh, shit, Jesus. man. I really love the Midwest. Yep. I love places down in Texas. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. I love fucking. Oh man, dude. Honestly, if I had a full time house and I was still like, it didn't have to worry about job or nothing. It would be somewhere out west. So I would say, yeah, mm, Wyoming, full time house. Damn. Okay. Yep. South choice. Yep. Wow. Well, okay, and then my. Cabin would 110 percent be in Eagle River, Wisconsin, way nice. up there. Okay, my plot of land with a mobile home on it would either. Oh no, I'm gonna pick one. Um, that's gonna be in Montana. Um, so I'm thinking for hunting purposes. And then my uh, the boat ported at anywhere in the world would definitely have to be. Shit, dude, I was thinking Bora Bora, but like I'd probably want to be somewhere near Mexico and come up the Gulf and shit. That's what I'd say. That's where I have my yacht. It's fucking okay. My that's a, dude. It's a big Zach. range. <laughs> Zach. Okay. Oh, shit. he's. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll write these down. So for the ocean, I think I'm gonna have my boat. <laughs> You're going in reverse. God damn. Yeah, I'm going in reverse. That's the way I can remember. reverse. Reverse. Um, I would probably have it in like Ireland, 
Ireland? Because have you ever seen like Ireland's oh, like dude. body of water? Yeah. So I, I, was Italy, that, I was thinking Italy. I was thinking. I was thinking. I was gonna put my yeah. house in Italy. Oh, yeah. so my house is gonna nice. be in Italy. Did I pick it? The cabin is probably gonna be. I'm trying to think of like a really like <sighs> Russia, <laughs> Moscow, um, probably Moscow. Antarctica. What? What uh, the? No, let him idiot. No, hey, no, <laughs> let's no, get no, into no. some conspiracies. Here. No, not Antarctica. Fuck. I would never be able to. Iceland. That's where. Did you that's where think, it would yeah. be? I don't know why I said Antarctica. That's funny. As well. I was thinking Iceland too. Yeah. Yeah. Iceland would be the cabin, and then what was the other one? Mobile home. Yeah. Oh uh, no, no, no. Um, full time house. That's is that in, Italy? That's in Italy. Oh, and then yeah, he, mobile home, mobile home, mobile and and a plot home. of land. Mobile home would oh, fuck. Grand, mobile home would be like in the Grand Canyon. Nice, dude. Gross. Wait, can I change? What, gross. Dude, it's Grand such a Canyon? tourist attraction. Bro, it's a yeah, map. Like, so I'll amazing. be parked in a spot where no I, did, I was not a fan. Hey, hey, I was I was dude, blown away was, by yeah, the, the South Grand Rim. Canyon? That's the tourist shit. But you go to the North Rim. That's when we you, did the hike. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You did do the hike. Yeah. Yeah. I I just I still uh, I was like, eh. oh, that's my favorite place. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna sick. I'm gonna I'm pull a mul- mulligan. I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm I'm pulling my house out of fucking my full time house out of Wyoming and it's going to be in Greece. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Greece is it's a gonna great be in Greece. Pick. Yeah, there you go. Right yep. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Okay, right. Lance, what you got, bro? You son of a bitch. Right. Really? Did I have Greece? I had, um, if I had to pick a place to have like a boat, I would want something like, you know, kind of exotic. I picked Santorini, Greece. Um, nice. For a mobile home, I think Utah would be really cool to venture oh, out there. Yep. Um, oh, Utah's good. Cabin. That's, that was mine. Um, I'm going to go just right up to where we have ours now in Crivets um, nice. for just like family and friends in the summers. And then for a permanent home, I want to stay in the U.S. of A. because It's the greatest country in the world. Damn right. Uh, and I'm going to go San Francisco, California because of the weather. And they've got great football environment out there. I'll, did you say California? Yeah. They're going to they're going to break <laughs> Shut off. the fuck they're up. Gonna You're going to live in California. They're going to break they're well, going to break off the US. I was assuming hey. we were thinking of a scenario where we have like unlimited like I'm just saying resort. you would hate California with those fuckers out there. We, we were just talking about I was thinking like if like we in had a perfect to, world. Well, yeah, cuz we said dream scenario. In okay, a dream okay. scenario, I'm making enough money yeah, to afford yeah, all point. this lifestyle and live out somewhere where the weather is phenomenal. I agree with that. But the weather with unlimited oh, cash, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's sure. California year round. Yeah. The weather no, is incredible. See, I was thinking about uh, the Canada, worst day is Canada for a little bit too, because Canada is fucking beautiful. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, the weather is like even worse than the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, mm. I bet you Toronto would be pretty fucking cool though. Toronto would be great. Ooh, Toronto would be dope. It'd be kind of cool, yeah. dude. I'm surprised. Great Canada. sports. Oh wait, Diva, you haven't done yours. Um, oh yeah, what the fuck? yeah. So let's go to you. Yeah, I don't know. I. uh I've been torn on this because I don't know enough cities, but uh, where where do I start? Ocean. I was gonna go Italy for okay, sure. Nice, 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 nice. Um, Great one. Yeah, uh, mobile home. Where do I want to drive? That I think bitch? I know what you're gonna pick. I don't know. No, India. India. <laughs> yeah. Where, where Nepal, <laughs> India. <laughs> China. Oh, think. there's Zach. Let's uh, he'll be the customer service. Do not redeem it. it do not cr- redeem your card. <laughs> It's good to see you <laughs> and you are mobile home again, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Thank you for coming back to India. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Um, mobile home might be Montana. Nice. Ah, I thought you were going to say Washington. Hmm. Mm, I wasn't a heat. Ah, I did like Washington. I was going to say, I feel like yeah. Washington and Oregon would You've be cool. You've mentioned okay. some pretty cool places, yeah. Oregon yeah. is dope. All right. Oregon we'll move Oregon it out cool. there. We'll throw it out there. We'll throw it out in Washington. Okay. Okay. Um, and then what's the one? Permanent home? Mm-hmm. Uh, and cabin. Cabin's gonna go. I I was thinking Iceland too. That nice. was the first thought. Oh I shit, had. that's yeah. fucking really? cool. We could be neighbors. So are you guys yeah. just going to Iceland? Are you, <laughs> <laughs> you see a guy on <laughs> Iceland in the fucking grass with a cape on. Dude, dude I watched that one Netflix <laughs> thing. <laughs> Cliff just sold to the cape on. I watched that one Netflix thing that had Zach Efron when he traveled around. <laughs> that right? was pretty and, dope. I heard it looks and, incredible. And was I was dope. like, damn, that place looks lit. So, but dude, that's it, where I want a cabin. I weather, there. I the weather there is rough. Yeah, but it's kind of cool. But I've heard the tourism is oh, yeah. fucking incredible. My parents have yeah. been there. They said it was, was mind really insane. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, there's no trees there above like twelve feet tall. You know, that? isn't the only negative cool. though yeah. that like the main meat they have there is lamb? I think so. Yeah, Ooh, yeah dude. I Probably had someone go there and room. told me that like the food yeah. kind of sucked, and I'm like, that would kind of suck. Wait, too. Y- you don't like lamb? Like gyro? I'm a, I'm a big fan of gyro. 
Nasty gyros. <laughs> That's not bad. I like, I like it. it. Oh, I love gyros. Dude. Gyros are good as fuck. After bar I guess I've maybe oh. just never had a good one. <laughs> I would grab a huge gyro. Some street yeah. gyro, bro, like from the trucks. Oh, They'd give us McDonald's. a huge platter of cheese curds, too. Oh, yeah. No, dude. Shut you haven't lived. McDonald's or the taco truck. I'd go found what's for your a taco go, truck. What's your go-to go order? I was... <laughs> at McDonald's. Yeah. A Big Mac. <laughs> Two McChickens, a large fry, and three cookies. Love that pick. What? That's phenomenal. You house that? You're you still I'm proud of you. I'm, I have, yeah. Like I said, I haven't had it in two months. Bullshit. I swear to you God. You have not. I've only been having so, my cheat meals. I've been pokey. Pokey bowls. Yeah, so, you've been obsessed good, with pokey. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I put a I go in the spicy mayo. I that. go in that wave, too. Leather it. Lather that Lather. shit. I am, dude. I got the Nando sauce. and yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, everything dude, Nando's, bro. It's so good. I feel like I don't. I think Flavor Gang has the yummy sauce. Or yep. no, yum yum sauce. Yeah, yep. yum yum sauce. That's it what tastes it is. just like it. It's just like it, dude. Yeah, it's so. You gotta load it's up. It's just like yeah. it. I just really I'm, need to I'm figure ordering. out how to make sushi rice. Because if I can figure that the out, sticky I'm having, rice. Yeah. I'm having chicken and rice. Like, bro, it's so easy. Imagine I, if you roll your own chicken and rice. You sushi. can. You you can. I've seen videos. Sushi, no sushi burrito. I've had them. They're good yeah. as fuck. Sushi oh, burrito. Yeah, dude. Dip just roll your chicken in there. Yeah, dude. This fucker. It's so good. When we were at the Arnold. When we were at the Arnold, we. <laughs> loaded up at the Flavor Gang uh, booth. Okay, so we saw Ross there. Ross is funny as fuck, joking around with us. And, uh, <laughs> and we're at the Airbnb, bro. Zach, I'm pretty sure we. I think we both got five sauces. We got I'm pretty sure lot. Zach went through three out of his five sauces in four days. Don't this nice. fucker, don't bro. Nice. Him and I, him and I would play COD at the end of the night and just get high as fuck. We're playing COD. We'd grab our meals. He would sit down, put his meal down, come back with the bottle again after it was. Everything wow, doused in it. Do you guys remember wow, in Orlando dude. when we got that garlic parm? Oh, uh, yeah. you guys are killing sauce? that. Dog, I saw you kill that <laughs> bottle in like a day and a half. Because I remember going in the fridge and I was like, fuck, I don't really want that. But that's the only sauce we have. And there was nothing. <laughs> yep, and I'm like, yep. dog, we've been here for a night. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, I know. That's just nice. so good, though. You put that so on your fucking breakfast. You were yo, putting that on your ground turkey and rice. So Zach used to come over to my place so much and, like, just to work. And uh, when we were, like, actually filming a podcast, too, before. Yeah. Um, we were but trying I to would, get this going. I would never buy that Buffalo Wild Wings garlic sauce, okay? Because I knew this. I would depend on him to leave it at my place. Because every uh, time <laughs> every time he would come over, he'd have one or two meals, and he would bring the sauce, and he'd either leave it in the fridge or on the counter, and he would never come back for it. I'm like, this shit's so addictive. You don't even have I got to, to buy it. Bro, and then and then he started coming over less, and I had to buy it again. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I always think I'm out because he, so he runs. He runs out. Like, oh, yeah, story <laughs> <laughs> actually, this shit going. It's a great reminder. I actually cleaned out my closet this weekend, yeah. and I found a Legion winter hat. So oh, you I've been looking yeah! For that. So I washed it and I got it. Oh, no my way! Place. Yeah, that's awesome. I was just looking and I was like, "What the fuck logo is this?" And I'm like, "Why is his shit here, dude? <laughs> you must have left that coming over to smoke like a year ago." Yeah, dude, that's been a minute. <laughs> Boys, looking for that. Just leaving shit all over. <laughs> He's like, I think. Yeah! I think Batman over here should tell us what these snacks are for today. Yeah. Ooh, no, you guys okay, are gonna be so my. Ah, oh, dude, so I'm so excited. We've had very good luck with. Prime bites, they're brownies. This is dense. And this flavor, fuck, dude. The flavor Holy we got shit. today is my favorite candy in the world, the cookie dough bites. Yeah, I get them at the movie theater every. You time. do, bro, every time. It's it's just cookie different. dough bites. Oh, they're so good. Oh, wow, I don't think I ever get them. Dude, they're so good. This oh, looks dude, like them. it's gonna slap. Yeah, dude, it's so good. Oh Damn. my fuck, dude, what? People's fat ass are no dude. way. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, bro. This is so Stupid. good. Are so fun. Dog, this is like a protein little Debbie treat. I know. Dude. Holy dude. shit! Let's look at the macros here. Yeah, dude. There's not even a ton of like 220 calories. Dog. 11 total grams of fat. Dog. Only 11 sugars. Not bad. Only 23 grams of carbs. Where the fuck is the this? Protein? Is for sure a 15 bomb. grams of protein. Yeah. Dude, the the texture of this is mm-hmm. the best prime bites texture we've had yet. You haven't had the cinnamon one, but oh, I haven't had that one. That's right. Oh my god, that it's the fun. same. I think this might win, dude. Yeah. Oh man, this might be. We it. got ratings. This I'm giving this nine, bro. It's I'm nine. This, this like a, a nine, nine for seven. Me. Talk. I was going nine eight. Oh, <laughs> I'm up there too. Nine eight, dog. Wow, Come this bites. is unreal, dude. <laughs> if Come I was bites. torched tonight. Yeah. And I had a six oh, yeah. pack of these. They're gone. All of them. They're all gone. Taste like, these gone. taste like those muffins in the yes. mini bites. Yes. You know what I'm saying? These are I totally agree. Nine seven. Oh, my God. Nine. You want to know the only thing 
that's keeping this below Anabar for me is I'm a very big peanut butter guy, and I love peanut butter flavor. And I know this isn't supposed to be a peanut butter base or nothing. I just love that type of protein bar, like sweet protein bar. But this right here I just is look so at close to my Anabar, want, bro. I don't want it to go. Me, neither. me either. That's why I'm holding it still. <laughs> you should have you you like, got two wow. snacks, bro. I don't think something's going to beat oh this. My I don't think when anything's going to When I got these, I, this. I had it yesterday. Oh, my God. It. It it's better just, today. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's like, why is it so good right now? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I want another one. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, dude, get their cinnamon one. All oh right, my God, dude, can we do? Can that. we re, can we run cinnamon back? <laughs> Let's do it. Because I was gone. Remember, the only place that has a that's supplement our... warehouse, and they have really them all the time. But you know why we don't go back there? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know why we try to stay avoid Tom, weekends there? Tom, it's not you, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> Tom, Tom recommended these. Tom recommended these. You got a lot of time on your hands. Shout out to Tom. <laughs> Dog, Prime Bites, well fucking done. Yeah, Very good. Fucking well done. They killed it. Well, well done. done. Meet that owner and be like, shake your hand. <laughs> shake your hand. <laughs> You've done it, sir. Dude, these were so good. Someone's like, get the four eye, get away from him. They, they make an Oppenheimer like documentary on him <laughs> coming up with that recipe. He realizes what he's done. There's like cancer sounding, all those snacks. Everyone in the crowd's cheering, just like, Duh. <laughs> sir, there's 10,000 more dead this year. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. No, but gone. everyone's just stacked yep. on the street. Yup, yup, yup. It's a bunch of fat dudes just What around. have I done? <laughs> oh my god, dude, that is funny as that well. That was insanely good. Well, so what are your guys' favorite like prep uh prep treats oh. that you like made, like concoctions? I put What's sliced, the weirdest just meal concoctions? I put sliced I had the sliced pickles. Yeah. And I would put a squirt of sugar free ketchup and sugar free mustard on it. Yep. And eat it. Whoa. Just on the pickle? Yeah. That would be pretty good. It was like a burger without the meat. The meat or the butter. Yeah, I guess. The way you say that was so sad. It was just a pickle. <laughs> it was just a pickle, <laughs> just a pickle with a squirt of with mustard and a squirt. I feel of like I hear up. pickles Holy all the shit. time. Yeah, pickles of the, are. The you rattled that off and I. Sensation. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Bro, I they're see. so good on prep. My mind. My mind you, you did that too? On prep. Not that, that, but I would eat pickles on prep. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure. Until we started. Pickles until like four or three weeks out. Yeah. Until you said sodium. Yeah. Like needed to be controlled. For I sure. was having like two pickles a day. Oh, in between meal, you, you just eat one and you're like, <sighs> I had like the big one. That's it. I would have the big one. <laughs> you're not gonna push lie. It. <laughs> there was a point. There was a point in prep when I was like around three weeks out where um, my zuc- I used to like eat the zucchini in the air fryer. Like you know, yeah. cook it from. Oh there. really? But and it was it was awesome. You yeah. Know, put some salt on it. But yeah. once you started to dial my salt in, um, dude, I would put. Just raw zucchini, not in the air fryer. I put stevia on my zucchini. Mm. I, heard I it, have not heard it's it pretty fucking good. Cinnamon on cucumbers. I was yep. just gonna oh, say I've heard cinnamon and stevia on cucumbers. Yep. Is yep. Good. I've heard too. Salt on tomatoes is fucking awesome. Oh, salt and pepper yeah. on a cucumber in yeah. general is just oh, delightful, yeah. though. Mike, oh, no. if you're listening to this, don't fucking try this until right. you can try it now. <laughs> We're not at three weeks out. Yeah, after the four week mark, what? you dial it. Yeah, up. exactly. But yeah, I I used to do like so slushies. I would do. Like mug cakes, you just put your yep, protein yep. in with like whatever carb you have if it's oats yeah. or whatever. Slushies. Yeah, I do like uh, the EAA slushies. Yep. Ooh. You just do ice water in your EAAs uh, and make you popsicles. Blend it. Yep. I'd make popsicles too. Yeah. That's but not going to lie. That's I started making slushy and you just eat it. Oh, that I was such a good idea. I was way I more that. creative after love prep that. though because like while, while I was on prep, dude, I honestly just enjoyed eating my food. And like it was like the small snacky shit, like the, the pickles. That's yeah. what I'd really enjoy like splurging yeah. on. But like, dude, I don't know why I didn't even make like with my oats and sh- my oats and uh, protein powder and cashews. Like I don't know why I didn't ever make like protein pancakes on prep. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Dog. Do you remember when that's all you need? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've been hammering him to do the. I've told him that the oh. the birthday cake Kodiak oh, cake yeah. mix. And I have I, that one now. And then I yeah. just do 200 grams of uh, liquid egg whites straight up and just. Make it so it's almost I, like soup. I need to yeah. try that because he's been telling me a ton Very about Dude, been yeah. killing yeah. him at night, and I wake up and feel great. Oh, dude, he made one for me when I was over smoking one night. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's, yeah, that's, my that's how you get him on board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feed it to him, and he goes, <laughs> every, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> you're going to start to see dude, every time I go come over to Lance's, he he's going to make exactly a new recipe he for doing. me. Dude, just buttering me up. I'll fucking call him before the movies and be like, you want me to make another one for you? I'll go to make a steak. I got plenty of batter. You want one, too? I always get scared. Like, I love when we all go to the the movies but internally i'm also like panicking because i'll uh, call him and be like i'm fucking baked i'm hungry and nick's coming and he's gonna look at me when i order it's because he'll be ordering and you can hear him go oh 
<laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know that? He'll fucking ask us if we're getting food, and he'll, he'll just like, no. stare at us. He'll, he'll, he'll look <laughs> down to me and just smile and be like, get no, anything? He's a, he's a dickhead. We said it. He's a dickhead. Dickhead. He, he stands at last in line because he'll be oh, like, oh, I'm going to get He waits too. for us to order. <laughs> he'll wait until we order, and then he goes, oh, no, I have my meal. But in line, he didn't say that. <laughs> or, dude, or we'll both order. He walks us off the plane. Oh. Yeah, he'll be like, I'll get food, too. And then we'll be like, what'd you get? And he'll be like, oh, I just decided on a sugar-free soda. And I'm like, <laughs> but you, t- you son of a bitch. Bro, I'm on goes, my shit, bro. And then he'll lean over, and he'll be like, yeah, well, good? you took insulin, so. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> or, dude, or you'll hear the he'll lean over and just like smile and be like, how does it taste? Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like. I'm you're, watching the movie. Leave me alone. <laughs> I take a bite and I'm just, I immediately like transform into a piglet eating in the theater. I'm I've just only, like, oink, oink, fat ass. I've only gotten food with you guys at the theater twice. And <laughs> yeah. I know that's to be true. If that, if that. No, it was, yeah. it was only, it was a wrap one time that you got. It. And then I got a burger or a chicken sandwich sometime oh, the other day. Yeah. The wraps are so Chicken wraps, yeah. though, yeah. at a theater. Oh, it's so fucking kill. So their good. fries are so pretty good. damn good too. I look forward it. to it so much, and oh, it's, it's heaven on earth. Yeah. It's heaven on earth. I'll get an extra season. large pizza and fucking down. <laughs> 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 You're a fat Dude, ass. see, we're when over he, here feeling bad, and Zach's just snorting on the other side. Hugging <laughs> <laughs> through an XL pizza. At, at every point we've said what we've done to cheat, he'll just come in and fucking top it right yep, away. Yep. I get a wrap, and I try to choose, like, no ranch or something like that. Dude, <laughs> you he's like, over there just mounds. Dude, why don't you get the ranch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tastes so much better with ranch. Dude, when I, uh, one time Zach was over at my place, oh, and we got super fucking big, and we're like, Hey, dude, let's go to Crumble. So we both go to Crumble. We, I both, still have we both get a six pack of cookies. Okay. I ate like a quarter of this one, a quarter of that one. We leave Crumble on the north side. Nah, dog. Chum. We come back. Zach's already got two cookies down and he was driving. We get back to my, <laughs> we get back to my place. We get back to my place. Zach eats driving. every fucking cookie inside. He leaves a half for me. And I still have my own, my like fucking five and a half left <laughs> this fucker in an hour and a half movie ate six crumble cookies dog, five and a half dog i'm proud way to you. push I way to took, push i took some slim that night for sure dude, yeah. that's for so sure. imp- dude, that's so impressive one of us <laughs> dude, there was one i have made one night through the four cookies and i was breathing like i was gonna die laying in there bed. was yeah. one time it was a while ago this was back when the original black panther movie came out it was like 2018 oh, wow. or something yeah me and my friend went to go see it and then afterwards we were downtown so there was this donut shop i don't know if you guys ever heard of donut squad downtown no i haven't no they got like custom donuts that have like m&ms kit kats like all that shit on them. okay we go there so we gotta buy, rate that we buy, yep. like, uh, i don't know if they're there anymore unfortunately oh no i don't think they are i always drive past them so I'm sad like, are you guys open are you guys open? they're never open i want to go to that uh that 414 store there's uh this protein smoothie and protein bakery shop next to me yeah. and apparently oh, their yeah, donuts are wild i've heard of that but we yeah. went and got six of those oh is that the and hispanic then... chick from experience sorry i don't know yeah, yeah I think he loses his train of no, thought. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Right. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> um, then we went to McDonald's across the street, and then, dude, my order was absurd. I don't <laughs> quite was remember, it, was but it? we, I pounded all the donuts. I had like maybe four of them, and then I had. Nice. Wait, we're talking full full size donuts. These are full sized. Oh Some my of god, them are stuffed. Nice. And Some of them are it stuffed. Was, <laughs> it was in March too, so we, they had the Shamrock Shades that came out. So oh I those. yeah, I had like. Get after it, thick boy. 15 nuggets, fries, two McChickens, a fucking Big Mac. Like, dude, I went crazy. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> you keep doing you, bro. I'm not glad I'm not coaching this <laughs> fucker. Keep doing you, Lance. Keep eating whatever the fuck you my, want. If you want to rap every once in a while, you have that <laughs> You rap. have your rap, bro. <laughs> it was my childhood friend, me and Humpa. And, yeah, like, we splurged <laughs> that night. So if Gee, you what is a, his name? If you, Humpa. <laughs> Humpa. Bro, that's Humpa a name Humpa that you would go eat food like that. Right? Humpa yeah, I, <laughs> I love that. But, yeah, he, he was a witness to that, so. Bro, that's Dude, insane. That that's would be an crazy. insane gamer tag back in like the Xbox. Eight, oh, yeah. yeah. Humpalicious. Yeah. It is. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's fantastic. I love that Dude, so much. I uh, don't realize. I don't know. Wait, so how long ago is that? That's like 5,000 fucking calories. So Bro, I'm I'm surprised you don't have type 2 diabetes. Not going to no, lie. No. Well, dude, I have a crazy metabolism. Dog. You're so lucky. <laughs> how many calories do you I'm think young. that was? Dude, so much. Dude, I four donuts was, alone least, is going to be. It was at least, least over 10,000. I've never had crumble, and I'm scared to try it, because if I, I like it, I'll be, I think it was well, dude, I'm afraid. Me and, bro, me and Lance were smoking one night. Zach shows up like an hour later. 
within the hour, Zach's like, should I go get crumble? Okay. <laughs> Zach goes to get crumble. We come back and <laughs> I'm cutting off quarters. Okay. This is like three weeks into my cut. I'm cutting off quarters, eating this shit. Like dude, bite. even the quarters of a couple. Oh, my. God, it's so addicting, dude. Yeah, I am. Sure. That's why I can't have that it. That night, like an hour later, I left Lance's and I, I typed crumble in. I'm like, how far is it for me? I'm like, fuck, it's closed, dude. It's so good. Sorry. I want to disclose something. I don't only cheat. This is literally yeah, like does. a twice a week thing, and it's only one. Like one cheat twice a week. Yeah, I don't, a cheat. I don't cheat every day. No, I'm, that's a that's a lot. Twice dude. a week. Twice a week. That's a lot, dude, it's bro. All, it's off season, man. Like I'm not trying to get ready for it. No. All right, all right. You know, I still like feeling good, I mean, bro. I'm, I'm I still like feeling it. good. I love Whatever like you... ha- having like healthy cheat meals. Beef like, or bowls. Well, t- are he looks good. So. Meals. I get pancakes I, I, like four or five times like a week. Yeah. <laughs> He's still fat, fat fuck. No, but I'm yeah. I think having cheat meals here and there and then. That's like, like uh, non contest prep. I need to step my shit good. up then, bro. Fuck. Yeah, dude. Think about how much better you could be if you had cheat meals like once or twice a week. Did you just see the off season I just went through, motherfucker? Yeah, but, exactly. <laughs> but think about what that could have been with two cheat meals. Could a be two eighty. It could have been like oh, two. Fuck. Could have been two ninety, dude. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? All that fucking. McDonald's? I don't know, man. I got. We lost ten pounds, dude. I don't. Ah. Yeah, happy I want to treat myself with a good fucking cheat, dude. I feel so good just be, doing my shit, and then like. Go out to a good nice. restaurant and take treat the lady. I'm you like, you can do that twice Fuck. a week. No, dude. I, <laughs> <laughs> you can earn it three times a week. <laughs> bump, it to uh, bump it to four. Bump it to five. I did one God. day of clean eating. I earned it. Cam, no. Cam, I'm sorry, bro. I have all of my four meals, and then I have one cheat meal every day. Not every day, like two, three times a week, maybe. Yeah, it's the three now. He goes four times <laughs> max. <laughs> Lance is like, dude, I'm such but a good like client. I said, the, the, Nick. Cheat, the, the cheat meal is the the poke bowl. So it's yeah, healthy. I would consider that really a cheat, though. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, no. well, hold on. Yes, it it's is. definitely not. Let's get plan. that clear for athletes. Yes, yeah, it is Cam cheat. doesn't have poke bowl. But yeah. I would say it's it's you not. see Zach go in the sheet and like <laughs> cut it, customize it, and he adds it into the macro. He clicks the drop down list. <laughs> Cam, I found poke bowl in here. Cam has to make himself editor only, so oh that he can't keep editing it back. Yeah. In. <laughs> He's like, you see Cam. Big Mac in there. You see chicken nuggets in there. You see gender chicken nuggets, 30 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat, like 6 grams of carbs. He's like, dude, it fits the macros. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. But I guess it's b- Poke Bowl is better than... Uh, my glucose lumbers are fine. They're in like the low 90s, high 80s. He's like, they're in 110. So we're good. <laughs> We got below 120, so we're we're feeling good. The doctor said I'm pre-diabetic. You're not <laughs> diabetic yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm fine. That's yeah. funny. It's pre. I'm not there yet. And I'm a winner, so I'll get that pre-drop. <laughs> <laughs> so I will have that Pokemon. <laughs> I really want to cheat meal now. Yeah. Fuck. It does sound good, doesn't it? All right, I'm taking rally home for a cheat meal tonight. Um, you deserve it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Top five people that can beat Thanos. Oh, yes, let's get into it, dude. Oh, yeah. sick. Yeah, Top yeah. five people that can beat Thanos. Zach's one always... can be a villain and one can be a superhero. Other than that, they're either movie characters. Oh, wait, one can be a villain? Oh, either shit. or. One I, can, oh, either. you mean say either yeah, or for yeah. that one pick. For that one yep. pick. Okay. Zach loves the hard transitions. Dude, he <laughs> just goes for it. We'll be talking we'll be talking we'll be talking about aliens, <laughs> and then Zach would be like, Speaking of aliens, do you guys let's re- get into movie characters. <laughs> I'm like, what? Do you guys remember the hangover when they're on top of the roof and they're all about to like cheers? Yeah, yeah. And he's about to make the speech and then Oh, you're Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I like to I like to say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He like interrupts him, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, he's like, to I like smile. to make a toast. And he's like, I like to like to say something. <laughs> and it just interrupts and then just and then he's like slices his hand. Yeah. He's like blood brothers. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, that's awesome. That's funny. Oh fuck. All right, so Zach, you go first. What are your what's All your right. pick? So my first superhero is gonna be the Hellbat. The villain's gonna be Doctor Doom. And then the other three is going to be Godzilla, Naruto, and Optimus Prime. Wait, Godzilla Jesus has superpowers, Christ, That's bro. an entire fucking <laughs> list of superheroes. And yeah, you, he's bro, not a superhero. Hey, mine's Optimus pretty rough. Prime? Mine's pretty he's not a superhero. He's, an alien. <laughs> he's, he's on my machine. list. He's a machine. <laughs> you guys are fucked. <laughs> I think like actual list. people. Like I didn't think anybody people. would. actual person is, that doesn't no, have powers? No, he said any TV show. Oh, my God. 
You think? Hey, good Steve? job, good job, bro. Good I went bro. I, 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 I was fucking Optimus Prime, Prime too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These fucks. Jesus Optimus Christ. Prime. Oh, I tried to follow the fucking list. <laughs> no, he too. said any TV show, any uh, and only one superhero. So I only went with. I don't think superhero. Naruto's a superhero. Op- Are Naruto's you definitely a superhero. Shitting Nar- me? Naruto's definitely a superhero. Dog, he's he, not a what normal gonna, human. What are you gonna pick next? Stand. Fucking the it's Dragon chakra. Slayer cast. Jesus Christ. I was gonna do. I was gonna do Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents. That'd be a good that's one, another that's fucking enhanced human. He's a yeah. fairly god yeah, parent. He's fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna go next just to get it off so that we can go back to your guys' normal ones. <laughs> I did fucks. Sherlock Holmes. That's great. That's a great pick. Then I did Omni Man. Okay, Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. Superhero. Superhero. Oh, that's a superhero. I did one. Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Fuck yes, dude. Let's <laughs> oh, that's go. So good. I love and that. And then I did Optimus Prime and Legolas. I love Rick. <laughs> oh, I had Legolas too. But what the wait, fuck! Isn't wait. that an enhanced human too? No, I don't. I wouldn't call it enhanced. Really, he's, they don't die. He's an elf. Yeah, they don't he's die. Not even human. No, he can still die. Like he, can kill he can, but, but at he like can't, ten thousand years, he can't get, die from old age. I knew Rick Sanchez though could handle Thanos on his own. On his own, Rick yeah. Sanchez is a legend. He's just gonna fucking wow. blast him. Absolutely. Into okay, Lance, let's hear uh, hear yours. So my one superhero that I picked <laughs> that would win the whole thing was <laughs> the yep. same as yours. I picked Omni Man because nice. I think he's the strongest. I knew he was gonna is go he in. A superhero or is he a, like? A he's villain? a super. No, he's a superhero. Well, he's kind of both. He's both. He's like but an anti-hero. I knew he was gonna go in there and mop it up. Mao, Mao, Mao. Him alone wins this. And the yeah. rest of these were just me trying to be creative and uh, fun. Uh, number two, I got John Wick. Uh, Fuck yeah, nice. Number three, I got John Rag- Wick. What is he gonna do to Thanos? <laughs> He's one dude That's because insane. we were Thanos su- should be like. Out. We were supposed <laughs> to pick normal things, not Optimus Prime. Yeah. What is John and all Wick these. gonna do to him? It's He's gonna shoot the you're fuck just out of him. He's gonna go. Poof. You're just trying to pick people that <laughs> are high caliber shit. normal humans. He's gonna be yes, I agree. That's He's what I was trying to do. I tried to pick high caliber normal humans. Yep. Then He's I picked. Ragnar Lothbrook from the show Vikings. Then I take Tom Hardy from Warrior. Nice. And then my strategist would be Tony Soprano from throw, Sopranos. He's gonna fucking throw hands at Thanos. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna do. Hey, he's I gonna do what he did. To I thought that's what we were supposed yeah. to be doing. You know and what? I thought that's what the Zach, goal was. Zach and I pass. You two fail. So wait, 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 wait. Not a chance. No, 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 no. Not a Thanos is shit. it getting? Hey, if I knew I could pick Optimus Prime, Chase he said Cars, Naruto, movie, Jesus Christ. He, okay. he put one superhero. Wait, wait, wait. One. Optimus Prime is. I was thinking from this. I was thinking this. Okay, he's the leader of the auto. Box. When I came up with this idea, he's an alien. He's when no I came, superpowers. When Jesus I came, Christ! When I came up with this idea, I thought to myself, if I just say any movie cast character, whatever, everybody's gonna pick superheroes. Okay, so what I thought to myself is, I'm that's who I would have done the same <laughs> thing. Well, they're not superheroes. <laughs> you guys are so fucked. after so what I thought, normal being. So what I thought, planet. right? I get, I get that. So I'm on your side From now. A that fucking thing. extraterrestrial planet. <laughs> but, but he's normal. But he's hey, not maybe, super maybe I just didn't, his kind. He didn't hey. say the whole fucking multiverse was available. But maybe I didn't. Maybe I wasn't uh, clear enough either because I put Dumbledore in mind. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> we, Jesus <laughs> fucking read, read Christ! Your list, read your list. Okay. <laughs> Lance's team comes out and Thanos just one hand kills him. <laughs> flicks so maybe it's a flick Lance's team. I tried to follow the rules. Okay, okay. Let's just get I have, murdered. I have, I have John Wick, Legolas, <laughs> Kang the Conqueror for my villain, Thor for my superhero, Dumbledore for my fifth. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's so that's I at least had three. <laughs> Hey, but hey, but Dumbledore. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Dumbledore ain't shit with his wand. You see our guys walking up. You look over at your team. There's John Wick. Str- <laughs> I thought I was stretching. supposed to follow the normal rules. Fifty-two-year-old hey. Keanu no. Reeves is stretching. <laughs> 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 you go fuck. We're screwed. Hey, you know the you know the movie scene. <laughs> oh, you, you're gonna see me <laughs> holding this list of rules, and I'm like, what the fuck? They lied. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear me run it. You see me run to the middle. Thanos is like, "What are you doing, dog? They fucking cheated. I'm leaving. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm on your side." <laughs> you see me like start the fucking spaceship. John Wick's like, "I thought we were fine. Get the fuck on it." <laughs> <laughs> this is <a> short box. <laughs> fucking Tony Soprano's like, "Fuck am I doing it?" <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. That is I'm like geek, you fucking bro. idiot. Get on the goddamn bus. <laughs> Do you know our teams? The teams that we just picked. Do you remember the scene in Anchorman when they're all all the different? Oh teams yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out to fight. <laughs> And then there's that one fucking team that's a fucking dick bags. Nobody likes. They're fucking weird as shit. That's yeah. gonna be Lance's <laughs> team. That's Everybody else team. gonna be our team. Badass as fuck. Dumbledore. Super melodramatic team. 
If I'd have fucking known. He'd go with Dumbledore, huh? As he flies by. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Dumbledore is not, not shit without his wand, though. Without the Elder That's Wand, true. bro. Yeah, mm. If I'd have known that, I'd have fucking brought in Voldemort. So some now, shit. Now, oh. I would have changed my entire fucking list if I'd known that. Do you want to redo your list? All right, let's redo it live. Let's go. Redemption time. fucking Christ. Here's your mulligan. Yeah, fuck sakes. I'll do... I'm sticking with Omni-Man because he's a fucking dog. Yeah, yeah you gotta um, keep him. So what was the other one? Omni Man you for had, your hero. You had two you have, superheroes, right? Uh, so, no, I had King the Conqueror for my villain. Okay, and then Thor for my superhero. So one villain. Is Omni Man? Oh, then actually, I actually take Omni Man as the villain. He's kind of in the yeah, show. He's kind of. I was gonna say he's an ace card. You can lean him either yeah. way. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll go back. Could... I'll leave Omni Man as a superhero. I'll take Homelander as my villain. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, honestly, that's no. Not yeah. that's Homelander. technically like two Superman. He's like proven to be the weakest. So not move Omni Man oh, to shit. move Omni Man to to villain and Good take point. Superman then. Good point. Oh, okay. Good point. Okay. Good point. Like ten times okay. strong. Oh, okay. Dude, yeah, dude. Yeah. Good point. Oh, Good point. Dude, yeah, Superman. Point. Yeah. So okay. now you got two of the strongest yeah. villains yeah. or people right. ever. Yeah. And then I get like a robotic Superman. fucking thing with you guys' Transformers one. Which one was that? Uh, no, he's just he's just a part of any movie or TV. Optimus show. Prime. So you, so you could do like you, you do. It Bumblebee, doesn't need to be anything. You could take swipe, anybody. Fucking the twins. Megatron. Megatron. You don't Megatron. even need to take Transformer. Yeah, yeah. That's no. You could do. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, they're they're just Megatron. Megatron. You could do like Chappie, the AI fucking fucking bot movie. You could take anything. Oh, yeah. any right. So don't even think that it has to be anything. Jesus Christ. I would have done. Any um, TV show. I'll be honest. I would have done Rick Sanchez. That's, that's why I said. Oh, yeah. OK. OK. Because okay. he's the smartest being in the entire galaxy. So yeah. that's fucking no brainer. He's um, handled every situation. Yeah. He's a dog. Um, shit. What are the other two? I'm trying to think now. I'm on the spot. Any any movie. Anything. Fuck. It's a good you could take I've someone in a while. From, what's that big. Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. He'll be a distraction. He's not gonna do shit. <laughs> That's just as bad. What's as that big ass robot there? from um, the movie Pacific Ocean? That Pacific Rim. That's Pacific fucking Rim. Wait, you gotta <laughs> have that. <laughs> Pacific Ocean. <laughs> you guys That's know so what I'm it's a great movie though. Yeah, yeah a great I, movie. Yeah, it looks. But you gotta yeah. have, wait. The one robot where um, the biggest one with the, the, the biggest the blades one. on his yeah. hands. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Oh, Thanos I like the Megatron pick. Fuck it. I'll throw a Transformer in there. That was a fun one. Yeah. Dude, I think That's Thanos would lose against just one of those Pacific Rim fucking bots. You think no. so? No. Oh, no, because he's got all... Wait, nah, Thanos he's with those are he's stones? handling one of those. Really? With, with the yeah. gauntlet? Bro, they're 102. Oh, that tall. would have been a great villain them. if you with took... With the gauntlet, uh, yes. He's like as strong as Superman. Superman could toss a Pacific Rim fucking robot how many, how many? How many Infinity Stones do you think that... Thanos they, would need, to, need it to defeat a Pacific Rim robot. All of them, one of them, two of them. All of them. If he has, if he none, none. bullshit. Oh, he's I like don't, shit. Don't he's like the strength that. of a. Yeah, but dude, the fucking god. Things those things are insane. Those he's are insane. a strength of a god. Yeah, but who, what is he oh, lifted? Dog, that, that's a everything. Wait, wait, is Superman a, would fuck one of those up. And wait, he's, he's like he's, as strong as Superman. Is I think Thanos? Superman he was strong with as zero Thanos. fucking stones. No, they say Thanos is like. Is he the son of Just who, to hold right. one stone, you have to be like oh, insanely strong. Well, how's yeah. he going to fucking fight him if he's fucking 200 feet tall or whatever the fuck? It's going to be like, <laughs> he's he going to punch him. He's just going to punch his just, leg. They're going to up like the Hulk and fucking. Dude. Yeah, he's going Dude, right through yeah. that metal. Fuck. He's tearing right through that metal. Hits the glass one time, it shatters. And also, too, those, fucking <laughs> those things move so slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Done. Yeah. Those yeah. metal-ass machines move so slow that he would be fucking zipping around yeah. that thing. Good point. Damn. He ta- he he pieced up the Hulk like it was nothing. Dog, that was yeah. the... that we, we He said fucking that, one, two, like three, said, four, That's one of the five. greatest yeah, opening yeah. scenes. He of pieces movie. him up, and the Hulk could take, I think, one of those giant robots. That Hulk fucking sucks. Oh, yeah. Mark <laughs> Ruffalo is garbage. Fuck Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> they need a hand. <laughs> Fuck you, we Mark need a Ruffalo. New, we need a new Hulk. He ever finds out about this podcast? Fuck him. The fact that <laughs> Fuck him. Norton Norton had to go be selfish and not want to work with Marvel. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll clip sucker. this and tag him in it. Yeah, Fuck yeah, Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Thanks for ruining the Hulk, jackass. Dude, seriously, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> we'll put on a fucking sweater and not explain, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Professor Hulk. Shit! Right. Yeah, we... Son of a... That was... Bad writing all around. Terrible. Yeah. Professor Terrible. Hulk. Fuck Mark Ruffalo. Dude, that was so dumb. Anyways, he literally ruined the entire How do you character. go from the OG Hulk and then decide as a group that that's the next movie? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do the movies like if that's what the Hulk was going to be. I would, yeah. I'd be like, like can I we bet, change this? Can it. we go a different direction? You got to admit, there's been a lot of characters picked in some of these superhero movies where like they just did it for the fucking money. And Dude, they, that's why they, yeah. they I do ruined, think they've done a great job at casting. That's just one of the fails Carnage. of a character. Yeah, they, yeah, they ruined they Carnage. Carnage. Oh, dude. They ruined the Flash. They ruined, they, they ruined the Flash. Venom's not good. I really don't like... Tom Hardy was such a waste as Venom. He, he could have been Wolverine. 
Yeah. He would have been yes, the most not even Wolverine. close. Yep. He would have been yeah. the greatest Wolverine. Yep, I agree. Instead, he's Venom. I think he'd be a way. He'd sh- I'll, I'll say it. I think Tom Hardy would destroy Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. I agree. It, it would. Yeah, it would I push, agree. It would push it. Tom Hardy stacked up. I'd have to see it. I agree. If he was Tom just a little Hardy bit more stacked up, Hugh Jackman imagine, for ten years. Imagine I know, him. I know, but imagine Tom Hardy's acting. He would getting, him, getting yeah. to be a true Wolverine. Like I, I guess. Hugh Jackman's cool. But I mean, like he does it, but dude, in the comics, yeah. he is like literally the yeah. most angry son of a bitch. Like, in imagine, that squad. Um, imagine he's always him and pissed Logan. off. Imagine him and Logan, bro. Tom yeah. Hardy and Logan would have been. Fucked. And that's the thing. I is, Logan was a cool approach. Me too. Logan was a cool approach. Such a great approach. Yeah, it was like a dad character, but like. In the comics, dude, Wolverine is like a lone show, like yeah. a lone shark, and he's just pissed all yeah, the time. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, pissed. Okay, so we're talking about like us, uh, like swapping out who would be a better <laughs> actor for a character, dude. Do you guys think Rambo could have been done with somebody better? Um, Adrian, uh, <laughs> no, Adrian. get down. That was, that was their time. You think so? Okay. Sylvester okay. Stallone was like the man they, at the time, but I think the no, news, it was Arnold, I think, Sylvester, yeah, Arnold, and uh, could have done it. Uh, what was the other guy's name? Who, um. What if The Rock decided Who's the to fucking do it? Other guy? I can't remember his name. <laughs> but there was a ton of those What if greats. he did a remake? You just see him just go, I'm Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jason no, Statham does have, it? <laughs> he couldn't do that. He'd have to like do Terminator or something. Dude, I remember tall. Terminator when I was younger was the best series ever. I rewatched I Terminator. Terminator. I rewatched it. It's so cheap. Predator. I love oh, Predator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You liked those? What? You liked Predator? Oh, yeah. Yeah. When Dude. Arnold comes in, he just fucking All right. <laughs> Dude, that's cr- okay. So, oh my god, we're kind I of have talking about kind of talking about like Predator and alien shit. Shit, boys, I heard a crazy alien story right, this week. What do you got? Holy yeah. fuck! So I went and fact checked it, boys. Perfect okay, so transition. they, I was listening to a podcast and they always bring up like current event alien stories, things from a long time ago. They bring up um, conspiracies, shit like that. Not over the top conspiracies. Like conspiracies are actually either that have came true or that are believable. Okay. Sure. So I listened to this podcast this week. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, as I was listening to it, I'm like, there's no way that this is like actually true. So at the, I went back to the beginning of their story and they said that they pulled this off of the CIA website and they said the fucking case number, the file number. So what did I do? I went to the CIA website dot gov and I found the same exact thing that these fuckers were talking about. I have the picture of it. I screenshotted it and I copy and pasted it. So what is it? So this is an alien <coughs> story that happened in 1991. And it was public. This document was published in ninety three, but this happened in Russia. What? Okay. So, holy fuck, dude, this is crazy. So, um, shit, where did I start? Um, Russia International subject paper reports alleged evidence on mishap involving USO, uh, UFO, um, Ukraine. What? <laughs> Bro, your face like (laughs) you have to clip that. Bro, I wish there was a camera coming from this angle. Oh man, that was so funny. Slowly tilted it. Oh man, squinting like he was like, it looks legit. (laughs) Looks good to me. (laughs) That's literally he was gonna tell us whether it was or wasn't. Okay, go ahead. So in 1991, the KGB top secret intelligence administration. (sighs) A lot of material from that department found their way abroad in a particular in particular to the CIA as reported by the authoritative magazine Canadian Weekly World News. US intelligence obtained a two hundred fifty page file on the attack by a UFO on a military unit in Siberia. The file contains not only this is bro, I'm reading from a CIA document right now. Okay. The file contains not only many documentary photographs and drawings, but also testimonies by actual participants in the events. One of the CIA representatives referred to this case as, quote, a horrific picture of refer- or revenge of the part of the extraterrestrial creatures, a picture that makes, end quote, um, picture that makes one's blood freeze. According to the KGB materials, a quiet, low-flying spaceship in the shape of a saucer appeared above a military unit <laughs> no, keep me, reading. No, you got me distracted. Sorry. Um, <coughs> a a low flying spaceship in the shape of a saucer appeared above a military unit that was conducting routine training maneuvers. For unknown reasons, somebody unexpectedly launched a surfaced air missile and hit the UFO. It fell to Earth not far away, and five short humanoids with large heads, quote, and large black eyes, end quote, emerged from it. It is stated in the testimonies by the two soldiers who remained alive after this incident that after freeing themselves from the debris, the aliens came close together and then, quote, merged into a single (laughs) object that acquired a spherical shape, end quote. 
That object began to buzz and hiss sharply and then became brilliantly white. In a few seconds, the spheres grew much bigger and exploded by flaring up by flaring up with an extremely bright light at that they, which at that very instant, 23 soldiers who had been had watched the phenomenon turned into stone. What? Medusa. Bro, turn into stone po- poles. Stone poles. Medusa. Only two soldiers who stood in the squad and were less exposed to the luminous explosion survived. The KGB report goes on to say that the remains of the UFO and the petrified soldier- soldiers were transferred to a secret scientific research institution near Moscow. Specialists assume that a-, a source of energy that is still unknown to Earthlings instantly changed the structure of the soldiers living organisms having transformed into a substance whose molecular composition is no different from that of limestone. A CIA representative stated, quote, if the KGB file corresponds to reality, this is an extremely menacing case, period. The aliens possess the aliens possess such weapons and technology Scary. that go beyond all our assumptions. They can stand they can stand up for themselves if attacked, end quote. That's fucking nuts, dude. Oh, dude also, good job to... reading all that. Yeah, uh, that, was okay, that was pretty anxiety. long. I was like getting anxiety thinking about reading in front of a class, and I was like, oh. he's just he's. he's I'm a going. good I'm a good public speaker. Oh, there you dude, go. I hate it. dude. I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> this file, like, uh, uh, <laughs> boys. The... This is the fucking file. That's crazy. Oh shit! Why is it blurry now? Um, but yeah, dude. This is on this is on CIA.gov. Like this is the fucking that's what right on their just, website. That's Th- what you just read. That's what I just read. That I copied and pasted into my notes. You could fucking read that. Let me see. Oh, there you go. No, I copied and pasted it a while ago, though. Zach, like, fact la- check last it. week. <laughs> bro, look at the dates. I, bro, they told me to computer. look up the case number on the podcast. I looked up the case number, file number, whatever it is, and fucking dug through a bunch of shit and finally found it. Damn, that's cool, dude. This is on. This is public document, and I just, dude, we just read that live on the podcast. <sighs> so we're gonna. Dude, f- that's scary. <laughs> if we die windows. because of that, give me a couple prime bites. Dude, I might, I might get targeted now. Yeah, for yeah. sure. There's gonna, list. Be, there's gonna be an empty seat that's next why week. We're not up. <laughs> I'm so, gonna be off and suicided. Nick just tragically passed. Uh, I'm not we also depressed. Have like, um, we also didn't have like a couple million dollars. To <laughs> look we get a really nice. We have a nice studio. studio. <laughs> Nick's gone. <laughs> Everybody gets supercars. <laughs> that's hilarious. In case. That's crazy yeah, shit, though. Turn it on. <laughs> turn on what? The TV. <laughs> what are you talking about? Can we turn it on this TV? Oh, we have time. Oh, you're talking about, oh, you're talking about the game? I just thought we could have it like dead silent in the background oh, if we God. ever run you over can't. noon. Oh, no. We would get no. You would get so distracted. I, I could do both. I wouldn't have. No, you I could do both. No, you no, could. No, you could. You would start cheering. You would just be having a conversation. Uh, uh, You'd be like, oh, oh, let's go. Yeah. We're having a serious yeah. conversation. Lance, you get Fuck lost someone in could one be, conversation with us. Yeah, dude. Someone could be talking <laughs> about like a grandmother's like passing like in life, and I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, You can't focus. That's no. No, Negative. that's a no no. We're almost You there, couldn't though. even show up at nine o'clock this morning. We I didn't know it was <laughs> that was nine. Me. And then you were still late to ten. Yeah. I, that was there was a line oh, for oh. ten fifteen when you got here. You no, fucked right. Oh, can we so, shout out McDonald's really quick for having sugar free syrups now? Yeah, I didn't know that till today. So if you guys are complaining about your weight, get some no, sugar free syrups. People okay, don't need yes. to be going there. Yeah, good point. Zach, are don't. you are you endorsing McDonald's? I am endorsing healthy products. Shut the fuck up. It is really just black iced coffee and then sugar free vanilla syrup. That's it. Shop flavor gang, boy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Shop flavor gang. I'm, I'm really excited oh, to try their coffee. Right. I'm really excited oh, to try their coffee. You know what I think would be good if they came out with like coffee creamers. I feel like they, could yeah, do that, that would. I feel like they could nail Dude. it. Someone, oh, Ross, got it. <laughs> Ross, we <laughs> have an idea for you. Dog, DM him today. Flavor gang. Coffee creamers, you ever- crazy, crazy flavors. That would be such oh a win. Fucking God. unreal on such a press, win. Fuck dude. me up. Such a win. Like I a love- blueberry creamer or some shit oh. like that. Bro, he's so excited I that he came up with this idea. I love that up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Bro, again. Hey, Bob! Bob! I had a good idea. Bob! Bob! They love my idea We're tonight. fucking tonight. <laughs> She's like, get over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's Drop so em. funny. Uh, but yeah, again, again, like we took, <laughs> again, we took his idea. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> again, I love how we just took Zach's idea and just... <laughs> Made it so much bigger. Zach just sat back. He's like, "Yeah." Like, Zach's like, "Oh yeah, they're doing better." 
<laughs> Good <laughs> like, job, boys. Laying in bed tonight at like 10.30, like, fucking nailed today. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the notebook, a check mark. <laughs> <laughs> the check mark read, get the boys to laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But just damn, laugh. that was it just that's sick laugh. though. Coffee cream. That's a would great be idea. Sick. Great yeah. idea, dude. Damn. Flavor gang. I'm telling you, man, that's yeah. a new market. Because I'll do all these. Someone's all gonna these, steal our idea. Bro, all Fucking these creamers assholes. out there. We came out with it first. A lot of these creamers Pad fuck it. up my gut, bro. Like yeah. I honestly, oh, dude, yeah. I'm lactose intolerant, and I'll get less fucked up from actual half and half than I would from like. But the a creamers super are so good. Sweet, oh, they're really good. Then a super sweet artificial bullshit. Yeah, it was absolute gas. I did like a uh, the cinnamon swirl sugar free one. Oh, oh nice, God, yeah. so good in coffee. <sighs> They're different. When Put that with like a hazelnut. Change. Like so oh yeah, you have winter for peppermint stuff. Oh yeah, you gotta have you fall. Let them hear it, boys. Fall, I gotta get my pumpkin protein. Be a little white bitch. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. I Make already got. I already got my uh, my uh, my coffee sweetener for it. Pumpkin yeah. season. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Shit. Well, have you had the pumpkin protein? No, not yet. It's pretty good. No, and I then you make like your own because like. Culver's makes the best pumpkin shakes. Oh, yeah. How do you know that? Dude, I can make How a pumpkin. That, dude, oh, no, man. Like someone told me. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I heard in the, from the grapevine. Dude, I can make a pumpkin uh, ice, oh, cream. ice cream in yeah. the creamy, bro. Dude. Fuck me. If you that put like, if you get so that cinnamon much. prime gotta, bite and crumble it up and put it in there with the pumpkin flavor. Shit, dude. Oh, like a That'll cookie dough flavor. Yeah. Oh, man, bro. Yeah. Do I need a creamy? But I'm saying the cinnamon. Prime bite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With Fuck me up. Ice cream. Fuck me up, dude. <sighs> Two scoops of isolate. Perfect the, diet. Hacks. Just the other make night, some fucking like protein ice cream. The other night, I made <laughs> um, fuck. yeah, I made cinnamon um, or like a like a what what's called cinnamon toast crunch cereal like flavored protein ice cream. Yeah, and I did like the the hostile the cinnamon oatmeal cookie. Oh, I nice. used the I used Ooh. I made that as the base. For like the what I would freeze, yep. and then I cut up the Anabar cinnamon toast uh, cereal, um, cut that up, and I put it in there as a mix in. Holy! What was that you didn't thing? think to add it as a topping? No, no. So you add it as no. a topping, but it mixes it's like a it sl- in. It's like a oh. flurry. Yeah. So it, what it'll do is it won't like shred it up. It'll just fold it in, it in. Yeah. And then you pull it out in every fucking. It's like a bite. concrete mixer. Dog, I got to get, get one, one of those, bro. Dude, dude. Dude, you want to know what's crazy? These nin- the creamies are like back ordered like four <laughs> weeks right now. What am I and I got mine last year, and Damn. I'm s- so lucky. Yeah, and I asked you about it. You're like, oh, I haven't used it in like a year. <laughs> I've used it twice in a year, bro. <laughs> and now you're just using it all the time. Daily. Daily. every night. I want to use it. Dude, that would be so helpful because like ice cream kills. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. And if issues. you, but the Fucking one thing I can't get is the consistency, right? This consistency is just so all it, bro. Just too runny? I know. It's always too frozen. Oh, yeah. You know, when you make protein ice water, cream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just always What about frozen. more milk? No, I'm saying without the cr- without the actual thing. without the creamy. Oh. Yeah, if yeah. you're just blending it up and you put it in yeah. a bowl and yeah. you put it in the freezer, yeah, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have that later. And then yeah, you're yeah. like, clink, and you're like, <laughs> fucking ice. <sighs> that was me in college. Yeah, dude. and then you microwave yep, it kind yep. of for like 20 seconds just to get the yeah. edges melted. Yeah. And you can kind of get in there, and then you take your first bite and you're like, this fucking sucks. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> it, it never popsicle. tastes good either, dude. Yeah, it is crazy. It's it, I literally have two areas in my uh, meal plan. So I have a, uh, protein in the morning. And then two scoops post workout. I'll literally take my two scoops post workout, replace it with chicken, put that as my creamy meal. Yep. Fucked, so, bro. Smart. It's so, insane. So smart. It's and insane. So good. It's so good. Would you say two scoops makes a pint? Two scoops 100% makes a pint. Yeah. You can do one scoop and still make a pint. Yeah. Because I'm only doing 240 grams. But two scoops flavor wise. Yes. Is yes. Harder Way better than yeah. one scoop flavor. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you want to spice it up, maybe put some sugar free whipped cream on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you should have done the sound there too. He goes, "Oops, I actually didn't get the Spr- sugar-free whipped cream." Oh, That's okay, sorry. Yeah. The whole milk whipped cream, <laughs> so, dark chocolate, chocolate like yep. chips. Yeah, Rally uh, cut up milk chocolate in hers last night, and that was her mix in. Don't they have the fire. Walden Farms chocolate syrup? Shit. Oh, okay. The chocolate yeah. syrup's re- really good, is but it? I, oh my god, dude! I, last is it week, ass? it's fucking terrible. Walden, Walden Farms, Farms fucking sucks. Suck. Yeah, I tried it when I was two good. weeks out, fucking and it tasted gross. like shit. So they they think, fucking think, blow. They tried it's their all, fat-free it's, ranch, and it was disgusting. Dude, it's dude, fake. It's all fake. Yeah, they yeah. lie to you. It was yeah. water with color. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's terrible. You know? Do you know like those? Um, you know how people will dip like apples and caramel and like that. The apple dip and shit. Yeah, yeah. I got like two weeks ago. I went to Cermak and I bought the Walden Farms um chocolate. A fruit spread, dude. It looks like a fucking gray, black, brown jello. Zero chocolate flavor. Zero. No, that's the thing. They never have any dude, flavor. It's so bad. They, I, I try their marshmallow. How are they ones. in business? 
I don't know. The, the like fucking tricking, no, dude. Honestly, losers. the the Europeans love it. Really? Yeah, dude. And I don't know uh, how, bro. I've I've seen because so they're not used to as exactly, much sweet stuff. Exactly. As I've yeah. seen YouTube videos of them like when they come to the states, they order a bunch of it. They get it shipped. They'll pay the shipping from the states all the way over there. Yeah, dude. Imagine we living are in a so yeah, imagine, fucked up, dude. There's so much bad flavor. shit in our imagine food. Imagine being somewhere we're where they never had like Chick Fil A sauce or some shit. Oh yeah, they probably know. never had any exactly. sauce like that. I'd rather have well, the shit in my body and eat it. We talked about that on last <laughs> week's pod. And dude, I would. when we when we were talking about like the amount of bullshit and chemicals that's <laughs> added into uh, the food industry in the United States, bro, it's on average forty terrible chemicals for you are added to processed foods that are not in them and overseas. That's, that's what I was talking 40, about. Isn't 40, food bro. coloring illegal in food in like yeah. 20 some other countries you know, and we just every other hammer country. it? We're, we're like the only country that a certain amount it. of sugar in bread is Dog. illegal in fucking Europe. Bread here it's and terrible. like buns here I've heard tastes it's like, like, like sweets yes, over there. Exactly. Yeah. Because we just are like, three cups of sugar. <laughs> yeah, and same thing. Well, they like, won't taste it. Some guy Dude, bites into it. The fuck is that? Same thing with potatoes, bro. Same thing Same thing with potatoes over there. Like in Sweden, my uncle lives in Sweden. He's and when they have potatoes, the bro, sugar. they don't. <laughs> just, do you know how like. Grabs the bag. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Do you know how it's like an American thing to put like sour cream, butter, oh, all this yeah, shit in dude. a baked potato or like even mashed potatoes. Bro, I didn't know how much butter goes into mashed potatoes. It's like two, three fucking sticks. Dog. Bro, that's Jesus. Racks. That's all saturated fat. Dog. It tastes amazing. Coming home for Thanksgiving, every time I eat it, like, it tastes so good, bro. It's sound terrible. Mashed I'm potatoes. Throw under the bus. But they but don't like, do that. In, in my Europe. family will be like, "Oh, you are eating potatoes. It's pretty healthy." I'm like, "Dog, I Dude. saw you throw like four. Stars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll look at my yep. mom like, "I know what you're thinking, bro. I do, and I get dad, it. But that's a lot." My yeah. dad one time so before he started like really started to lose a lot of weight, he uh, <laughs> I caught him putting like spoonfuls of sugar in his fucking. Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm nice. Like, I'm yes. Like, first, yes. I'm going to yes. punch you right now. Yeah, dog. I'm just <laughs> saying, if you've that? had Honey Nut, you guys have never taken a little sugar and sprinkled it on your Honey Nut Cheerios? No. no. I've done it when I was a kid. Yeah, as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it I mean, might have done it. Right. I haven't no. done it no. since, but as you a child, yeah. You sugar to cereal? No, what yeah, I'm saying, as a child, I did. What I'm saying was... I've never. When I was, when I was a child, I, I, I definitely did it. But like, because And then when you get to the bottom, you eat all the cereal and the sugar that didn't get dissolved on the bottom of the fucking bowl. So good. But anyway, I like... Caught my dad doing that. I'm like, Dad, why the fuck are you adding that to that? And like, he's like, it's Honey Nut Cheerios. It's healthy. And I'm like, you're also fucking up your heart by adding three, four tablespoons of sugar on it. Like, Damn. people think yeah. that that's a good thing to do yeah. if they're no. eating a healthy food. Dog, you should hear the nutrition I hear from people in my Oh, I, I, yeah. Oh, dog, it's rough. Bro. Yeah. It's I mean, rough. I signed a guy this week. He's like, dude, I don't even know when the last time I made chicken and rice was. And I'm like... See, me having two Holy cheat meals a week is not that bad. Yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. It is wild. That takes I forget the opportunity. that exists. I yeah. forget that life exists. Bro, it's do you want to go crazy? To just everyone be waddling in Walmart? No, just to do it. Yeah, so just to eat so up. freely. There, there I have thought about it for so uh, long that, I have, like. I have a story. Or pause, pause, pause. Yeah. Dude, I know. I've, oh, we're going to get into this. Yeah. <laughs> crazy that, like, with the food we were talking about, dude, it's honestly so sad that the word dieting or the word di- healthy food has been stigmatized as a like minority way of eating when that is how everybody oh, should be yeah. eating like like the word like the american diet is the worst diet ever like i would i would fucking do any other diet i would shit man i'd probably do keto that's why it's weird american that diet. even if you just eat like a that. vegan i could do keto. it's weird when you like have you know like eat even just like a not even bodybuilding or anything like that and you're just having on a, like a meal plan or whatever and then people think it's weird and they're like oh what's wrong with you or what's yeah and like aaron had like her chicken and rice uh, at her festival yeah it was like eating at 1 a.m and everybody's like thinks she's not having fun yeah. because she's eating that they're like oh aaron's not having fun eating this yeah dude and she's like i'm ha- what like what, what is fuck? what does me eating chicken and rice have anything to do yeah, with how fun yeah. this day is? Because yeah. everybody's so normalized. People just think it's weird to bullshit food. Because yeah. that's how it's been. It's it why aren't you eating the pizza, bro? bro it's Dude, so yeah. intentional. Yeah. Dude, it's oh, so God. intentional. <laughs> it's so intentional yeah. because like you don't you learn about the most basic nutritional shit in school when you go through health cl- health class. You can't tell me that like that is not planned. Yeah. Like if you truly cared about the health of a nation, you would teach them that shit. Dude. I'm I was, getting into conspiracy shit. Right I was now. watching football yesterday, and every commercial was alcohol pe- was pizza and alcohol. And I was like, pizza. I literally was sitting there. I was like, man, Fuck this is alcohol. like the thirteenth pizza yeah. f- 
fucking ad today. Well, and then I was like, oh my God. And, and after just, the 14th, I you're like, I might have to call Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, fuck, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, what are the boys up to tonight? You Dude. like walk by it. Ah, that's disgusting. Stop Think doing it. Walk this. back. I was like, room. I was literally thinking, I was like, the, like Zach and Lance are going to come over for the Packer game. And then I was like, maybe we. Should I get a couple pies, huh? Uh-huh. 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 Should I grab a cup for the boys? I show up with them already. Yeah. <laughs> Zach's got donuts. I got like chips. Yeah. Dude, when oh, I yeah. think it I think it should hell of a I think it shouldn't be a thing for an alcohol alcohol company to sponsor any type of sporting event. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think crazy. I think it shouldn't be a thing. It's oh, crazy. You'll that never it, that'll never I know. not happen. Well, dude, yeah. well, dude, they make bro. It's never going to happen because they make profit they out of get people's sickness of alcohol. It's the at American way. Events, yeah, dude. exactly. It's the American they get way. I know. Hammered. I know. And then and then they're like, "Hey, but it's okay if you get kidney and liver disease. Just come over to here, and we'll, you know, we'll have the American taxpayers pay for your kidney and liver disease. It's okay. Dog. Milk, milk, <laughs> milk the welfare. I kind of love it. <laughs> oh my god, you fucking. Oh, you do because you get clients. Who the dog, clients? Fuck, dog. Who the no, fuck? not that. But like, come on. You never went to like a fucking top ranked oh, yeah. college football well, game oh, on a yeah. Saturday and your buddies weren't like, bro, you want to get fucked up at like 8 a.m. and you weren't like, yeah, yeah but I feel hey, like days hey, we'd start drinking and we'd go to the bar. Dog, and, hey, come on hey, now. Hey, hey, we'd be taking different. shots every show. Oh, touchdown. <laughs> Stop that. You get hyped, dude. Dude, it's, it is, I feel like it it's, is the best. I feel like it's different. If fucking younger, A, like, let uh, it rip, dude. Like you're young, but like if people are doing it when they're yeah. 60. It is weird 50, when you see, yeah. I'm not trying to like, dude, that's what I'm trying to enjoy. Like, Lance, what are you talking about? I had a time. Dog, if I'm 60 and my buddies, like, say, Bill, you and I or whoever are like, let's go to a Packer game and Bill, because you know Bill's going to come fucking prepared because he's yeah, a dad. That's true. Bill is a, is a true American yeah. dad. Yeah. He's pulling out the tailgate going, well, I didn't know if you guys brought anything. And he'd pull out fucking hot dogs, oh, brats. Yeah. He'd make Bloody Marys yeah, with okay, a so fucking me, rotisserie hey, chicken me, on me, it. Me, I'm hitting that shit. Sounds like a good time. Great time, dog. I'll, okay, that sounds... I would. You're love thinking to, about it now. <laughs> no, I would love to do that, but We're I would, two pages I'm here. I'm not gonna do that all the time. Oh, well, no. no. Like you know, what I'm saying. How do you like, I'm not gonna drink either. like every day. But but how do you like, that's that? gonna be like once. Like yeah, but dude, the Ameri- a, like every other week. What he's thing, going on, dude. He I've that shit, what he's know? going off of, dude. 100. percent I agree with this because I've do every Brewers game I've been to. I'm fucking drinking there. Yeah. I might not yeah. be hammered. I'm drinking there. Just having okay. a beer. Exactly. But I don't fucking drink beer, you faggot. <laughs> what is it? How is beer? I'm get fucking hard alcohol, dude. <laughs> like what? Well, beer's good. No, it's not. Well, I'm, I'll call him a faggot still. I'm not a huge beer. I'm not a huge beer. It's such good. a bad take because it's a sporting event. I'm not beer a huge yeah. more than anything. No. I'm not a huge beer guy. I love it's a beer. good beer. That was a big. That's what beer. you do at sporting events, bro. They, they serve beer. the worst fucking beers at sporting events. Well, yeah. I, no, not not. I usually more. get a like Pfizer's got oh, like some yeah. fucking. Okay, I, I didn't know that. What? I didn't know that. So does Lambo. Anyway, yeah. this is what I'm saying. Anyways, bro, but there's here. people. The American people. <laughs> The American people, Lance. What you were just talking about, I would love that. Everything. Yeah. Every time I've tailgated, that's what we've done. Yeah. Shit like that. But the American people take it to the point where that shit. Happening at a sporting event happens when they're at home just watching a game. Oh yeah, yeah. bro, and like it's oh, normalized. Yeah. That that's been normalized to the point where it's like that's oh. why I think it's so fucking unhealthy because it's just it's, it just promotes that everywhere. The only time that you can celebrate is with alcohol when you're watching a sporting oh, game. Like yeah, that, and you can. It's only, just been oh, forever yeah. though. That's, that's just, yeah, yeah. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like I completely am on the same page as you guys. Like, dude, yeah. I'll drink at a game. I'll yeah. eat some. Like I, I, every Brewers game I've been because we don't go to a lot. There. Yeah, exactly. We don't, we don't right. go every week. Right. We're doing like a Packer game a yeah. year I'm talking about I, yeah I, I've, I'll have the experience you know yeah, but yeah. like that's it's so fucked that people think that eating anything but that is bad for you I think deep down they know it's like it's bad to be honest them. like because dude like just saying from like personal experience I my family is definitely and I think everyone is aware of what they should and should not be no, fucking I don't think so. eating I think I think you can't be that blind, no. dog. You can think so. be. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you so can like be. Like fast food and everything, you just think well, like yeah, McDonald's. Oh, dude, for you? imagine. The, uh, listen, think about like at Experience Fitness when you yeah, had yeah. like normal human clients. Yeah, yeah. Like, th- think about like they would think a salad from McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. With like. Oh, a in that regard, is like yeah, that's very true. Is healthy. That's yeah. very true. Like, oh, yeah. I've been healthy this week, and they put ranch like the whole packet of ranch on it. They think it's fine. Yeah, it's like fine ranch. Yeah, yeah. That's Bro, true. like that's so but true. I'm just saying, so like, the, <laughs> I totally agree. They know like, ranch, ranch isn't terrible here. Yes. Well, hold on now. It's not like, 23 grams of fat in like a thin strip packet. And, like, and they put that. three packets. Like on I them, seriously, the whole think, thing. I yeah. seriously think that like people honestly <laughs> are just so oblivious, dumb, and don't care that they like, bro. If this, if it, if okay. if we're truly, if it were truly a thing that you know, if the obesity was such a problem that wanted to be cured in our world in in America, then. 
it wouldn't be the opposite. Like right now, the cheapest food is the most unhealthy food. The yeah, most yeah. expensive food, like like I'm saying, like in terms of like a Go snack to and or something. Around. Right. Like I'm saying, like you'll spend more. Yeah. You'll spend more on fast food and shit, um, and stuff like that than if you bought like healthier food at Walmart. Like that'll be super expensive. It'll but add up. It's the convenience. Everybody's so busy. Yes. No one has any yes. fucking exactly. money. Exactly. So like exactly. everybody's working cheap as and time much saving. as they exactly. can. Yeah. So they get home at seven p.m. and yes. have to have the kids in bed by eight yep. thirty. And they got four yeah. of them running around, yeah. and they're like, Hell "Fuck no. it." There's a ha- like yeah. a happy meal because, and I think, and they're I th- paying for like it all stems from once once they started processing foods. Once they started processing foods to last longer, that's when they hooked Americans on. Yeah, it's okay to be lazy and not want the better for your health and others around you. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And they're so addictive. I mean, think about putting a kid on drugs and then telling him to get off. Like, well, dude, that's what they do. Drug. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's crazy! Tell, they you literally have withdrawals. I mean, yeah, like, dude. Oh my god, bro, it's so it's, up. It, it's absolutely nuts. It's it's a, especially today's society as a youth with the amount of medication out there. It's a cascade for failure in your life, right? You know what I'm saying? Like putting a kid on ADHD medication at a young age, he might need it, he may not need it. Putting a kid on fucking or, or birth control, birth control at, at a young age, old. that's so fu- that's going to be that destructive really to their future. Up. You know what I'm saying? And that's up. normalized. Right. Even in like, and I'm saying that there's there's cases where people need ADHD medication. There's cases that they don't need it. But a lot of the times, the cases that they don't need it is just because the kid's going through fucking puberty and he's hyper. He's got a lot of energy, and people still put that person on yeah. that and medication to br- to dull it down. Well, it's just medic. Medication in this country is just fucked up. Fucked up. Anyway, so yeah, it's the healthcare not, system's terrible. Yeah. Oh, it's awful. The healthcare system's so corrupt, bro. Think about, bro. Think about this. Our taxes go towards the obese, fucking not doing shit with their yeah. life. That's sad as fuck. Well, oh, they we were trying to, to start. Oh, shit, we no, talked about it a few weeks ago. They tried to start a petition to fucking make it so that like. If you were like over a certain amount of weight, you should get a whole Good. row of seats. It's Good. like what the fuck? Do it, no, bro. Yeah, it's like lose some fucking weight and get on no. the plane. Oh dog. yeah, okay. So I I agree that it's sad that it, it even got to that point. But like, Think oh yeah, you should that. pay for it. But what I'm saying is like like I agree with you, Lance. Where it's so sad that it even got to that point. Sad. But what I'm saying is like it's good that they're actually just pointing it out. Like, hey, if you are a fat piece of shit and yeah. you take up more than one seat. <laughs> You're not either allowed on the plane. I'll just say whatever the fuck. Dude, I will. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that would be so funny. Can you imagine hearing a guy come over the intercom as like some ladies <laughs> like the man you see? And Nick's just like, all right, so I'm just going to read from uh, module 1A here really quick. So in quotes, uh, so you fat fucks out there. <laughs> <laughs> listen me good Get and listen me now. <laughs> well, dude, when I when I flew back from Texas, me and Rally were walking on the plane. We're the last ones to board. I walk all the way to the back. That's where our seats were. I was in between two big girls oh. and rally. And I look, I, <laughs> hey, I stopped, I stopped, I stopped. And I'm looking and I'm like, I looked at them. They made eye contact with me and I turned the fuck around and I sat in a random seat. And I told the flight attendant because I was in somebody else's seat. Oh, really? I'm like, I'm like flight attendant. I'm not, I, I can't fit between those girls. Look, and yeah, they look were, at us three. <laughs> bro, and I'm saying like when I say that their arms were fucking touching each other's in the in the seat in between them where I was supposed to sit, they wouldn't uh, even fucking so move over. That's so uncomfortable. And I yeah. literally didn't know what to do because I'm like, well, dude, well, okay, let's, I'm going to be fat phobic if I say something. So I'm not going <laughs> to say something and make a scene. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I know I have enough self-respect for people around me and myself and awareness that I'm not going to make a scene. What? Uh, how can I ask yes, size and height? I'm talking. They're over 400 weight. pounds. Oh, oh. So like big, big. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. had That's some Aunt Jemima's next I'm to talking, you. Huh? I'm talking big bitches. Oh where you God! Because then where? their arms are going to protrude on Texas. yours. Okay, that bro. I'm sense. saying like I couldn't even see their some ankles. Texas girls. Imagine that. I couldn't even see their ankles. Imagine their arms just so thick that like you <sighs> have like Nick so would bad. have to just stay tucked because they're just. Skin on skin of someone you don't know t- is I'm so not uncomfortable. Oh, dude, I hate it. It's and the most uncomfortable well, moment. Well, bro, so... I hate when... If you're in the middle, you get the arm rest. Yeah. You get the middle arm rest because you, yes. you, you're yes. getting squished. You're getting squished. But you'll always have someone next that to you that's one just like, fucking this. asshole. So then you're sitting like yep, this exactly. the whole flight. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah it's but like if they fuck fucking fuck up. So not going to lie, when I when I booked my trip down to... <laughs> uh, when I booked my trip down to Texas in October for some of the Mike show again, I got first class tickets this time, so I'm, like, I'm not no, fucking. No, I just always go aisle shit. seat. I always make Dudes. sure I have aisle seat because I sl- I flip wait. that leg out. Can you? Yeah. Oh, that's what I've done too. But wait, yeah. can you pay for aisle seat? Yeah. Can you like pick your seat? I love yeah. the window seat. Yeah, on, on what flight? Delta. A lot of them. You can all oh, American Airlines. Why. You'll, you'll oh. select which seat you want or what flight you want, got and it. you can. It'll be like seat selection, and got I always, it. if there's not an aisle seat, I'll I'll pick a different time. Seats. Got it. So I did not. I wasn't aware of that. You can't do that on Southwest or. I like to have access to P. Yep. I like having to stretch out. Yep. Like, 
Yeah, I but need, I, I, yeah, I usually just sit Fuck there. a window then, because too. I hate yeah. asking Get up, people, you gotta ask both yeah, I hate people asking people yeah, to me move. Yeah, me too, me too. What if I'll one of them's it. sleeping? I'm just sitting there like, oh my what God. What if the dude next to you is just knocked the fuck out? Yeah. You're like, you gotta piss. Dude, on my way back from one of the Atlanta trips <laughs> You'd for work. You'd hate that. You'd hate that. There, yeah. there was a kid and a mom sitting next to me, and she, I was sleeping, and she tapped me like seven times to, <laughs> to let her kid move. And at no. the end, I wanted to be like, handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come back with him if he's gonna go again. Like, oh my god, I would be. Oh, they started um, streaming, and she'd be like, "We have to go to the." Did you guys? Oh yeah, they're starting a petition now for that. Actually, that flights are starting. That's gonna be past the thing. Um, because they talked about it on Barstool that there's gonna be a adults only section on certain flights. Thank God. And you, you, it'll be like first. It'll be like the new first class. (laughs) It'll just be adults. Like a jolt, a dog only. Thinking. Children are not. But dude, I'm sorry. Topless. If, if I was, if I was oh a parent God. and I had like my four year old with me, I'd be like, dude, we're fucking sending him in the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, seriously though. F- I, four I years old. Flight. That's pretty young. Fuck that. Send There's them. babies. Send There's babies them. on flights. Like, dude, yeah, all the crazy. time. All the time. Yeah. I'm well, no, you just sit. You have to sit back there as a whole, like the family. Oh yeah. You're not just gonna put the kids back there, but mm-hmm. I'd have someone watch them. I could yeah. pay for a babysitter. You choose where you. bro. You chose by having that child. Yeah. Sit in the back, not with the boys up front with the strippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just see Devo and some only. flight attendant, and they're just like, boom. You see the light, you see the curtain she's, go. She's the just in a bra. The, I'm like, yeah. adults only up front. Every you just see Nick stand up. What? What the? The curtain like just pulls in front of him. You just see Devo just fucking whipping his shirt. Up. No, every time <laughs> he's just got babies crying all around. <laughs> what the fuck? He just pulls his head through, and just sweating. Hey, you guys get any uh, juice out here? <laughs> juice? He's got a Gatorade. <laughs> We're dying back there. It's a great every time. T- every time the flight attendants go back and forth between the curtain, they got to button their top back on. They come in, coming out of. Just to check on you. You just see the strobe yeah. light. How's the kid here? doing? Good, okay. Blodgick's just eating like a accent. fucking hot dog, <laughs> fist pumping in the air. He's got, he's got, he's got, got the, the tie tied around his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's just kill us. Some girl's just throwing McChickens at him, and he's like, fuck it. <laughs> How was your flight? <laughs> oh, Terrible. man. Just wakes up. That was the best night of my life, boys. How was your flight? Just That's eyes deep. baggy, kids still you screaming. travel more often. <laughs> just, <laughs> just coke in a frat party up there. <laughs> Dude. It's a good time in the adult only part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, I think it's a good place to yeah, wrap up. We, had a we ended on a high note. I didn't know how we were going to wrap that around. That's we had awesome. a fantastic pod. Yeah, yeah great uh, stuff. Uh, uh, episode 18. Final thought. Have a good day. I don't know what to say to those. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, what do you got? Final have thought. Uh, don't be fat. Don't be a host. Share the show. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be a host. Uh, excited to be partners with Flavor Gang. Remember, use code D two. Code D two. Thank you again, Coffee Ross. Creamer. We're pumped. We're pumped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, aliens. <laughs> aliens are real. Aliens are real. Uh, I proved it today to you, fuckers. Lance's Medusa team would have gotten wiped out by Thanos for sure. Uh, Flavor Merked. Gang loves us, and we love them too. Yep. Yeah, Bash Mouth loves us, and we love them as well. Yep. D two. Prime bites. Hostile. Well done, Prime Bites. Prime well done, bites. Prime Bites. Rise, and you're all caught up. We'll catch you next week. Have a good day, everyone.